people, we are back. It is Champions League evening. So this could only mean one thing. It is Danny and Manny has put up on Twitter. We are here to hopefully guide the Gunners and all of the real ones through to, well, a glorious place where we ain't really been. This is a this is where, this is about our level on the Venga. Let's have it right. Um, guys, we're going to talk so much today, but um, we don't want to jinx the game. Is the lineup right? Um, has Arteta got favour? I don't know. See, for me, Trossard is an impact player. Simple as that. Today, Jesus will be on the left for me. Manny, what are you saying, my brother? Welcome back, of course, to Danny AFC TV. Well, thank you for welcoming me back. And, you know, to answer your question, mate, um, I think one of the reasons why um, Jesus is on the bench is because um, I think... I've just lost you. And I'm just... You've lost me? No, no, I was just saying it's either my end okay. or yours. Yes, you cut badly there. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm just sharing the uh, team news with everyone right now so that everyone can see it. And obviously, you know, you can see the substitute Spanish, first of all. But first glance, obviously, it is, um, with one exception, one notable exception, this is the same lineup which started against Brentford. As we all know, we've got um, the Ram back on the bench and the Ray back in between the sticks. Other than that, it's the same 10. Benny Blanco, man of the match in some people's eyes. For me, it was number 41, Declan Rice. Uh, Kiwi yeah, line pie easily. on the left. Yep. Um, would you have made any changes basically apart from Rhea Manny? That's what I'm asking you, first of all, my G. Um, I'm a bit worried about Jorginho starting. I look, a lot of people have made it crystal clear that they consider Georgie Porgy to be the man for the big European occasions. I just think that in many games, you know, he has shown to um, shown himself to be a little bit leggy. And he's coming up against a Porto team whose um, wide forwards, um, Francisco Concesao and Wenderson Galeno, are like uh, greased lightning. You know what I mean? Yep. So, again, Wait, money, money, money. It's bothering me. How do I get rid of this? I don't know how to get rid, rid of it. Of can you get rid of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. I will. I mean, oh, I'm you can. Oh, you're in control. No problem. Beautiful. Oh, Joe, see, it's in my face. Yeah. Uh, go on. Carry on. Yeah. So, I'm just thinking that with him uh, over there on the left and Rice in the middle, He's going to have a big responsibility, obviously, of um, uh, being able to find the killer pass. And obviously, because he's not quite as strong as uh, Uncle Ben, or Tilda, as we would call him, um, he's now out on the left uh, with um, Trossard on the left wing. Ideally, Tross, um, I think one reason why I can think of that uh, Trossard is now playing on the left wing is because when he played on the left in the midfield, I thought he looked a little bit like a duck out of water, really. And um, that was when Martinelli was, of course, on the left wing as well. So this is, again, another reminder that we just don't have the bench strength to go any, um, uh, go far in this competition. And effectively, you take a look on the bench. Um, I'll, get you, I'll get what you're saying about Gabby Jesus coming in on the left wing so that Trostar can sit on the bench and then come on. But Jesus, I don't, I don't think, is match fit. Neither is Thomas Partey. And of hold course, on, hold we're on, hold on, into... hold on, hold on, hold on. I've had a absolute mammoth five-hour argument on Twitter today. So, uh, brother, I'm not saying me and you are professional footballers, yeah? But if you've been on the bench for the last three, four games, are you actually telling me, as a professional footballer, in your mind and your body, you earn 200 grand a week, so you've been doing this for a little while, you don't know if you're fit? Are you telling me the Arsenal doctors are also not qualified enough to know if he's fit. And then, are you telling me our, our manager is just putting him on the bench and then put him in, putting him on the pitch in the 94th minute when we've won the game against Brentford? Like, um, someone's taking I'd... the piss out of me, Manny, so I'm just asking, who is it like? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. Listen, listen, listen. When Party came back against Sheffield United, he made an appearance off the bench and he had a couple of bad giveaways, yeah? So... Okay. I wouldn't a couple necessarily of bad say parties, I, I, I play for about I, I, fucking year. Agreed. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's a case of match fitness. I think I need to check my words there. It's a question of whether or not they're they're a little bit too ring rusty in a way, both Party and Jesus. But uh, but they're going to play some roles in this game. Don't get me wrong. I predict Party will be able to come on for Georgie Porgy to sort of hold the game a little bit. And, Shall I tell you um, what I predict? Shall I tell you what I predict? Go ahead. Go ahead. Party will come on in the ninety eighth minute. There you go. 
So I'm just laying mm. it on the line right now. I'm just saying it's obviously personal. He would rather bring on El Nenny than fucking Thomas Party. But this is my opinion. We shall see, Manny. We shall see if we're one nil down and shit's going wrong, you know? Yeah, but some really good news is that we've got um, the Tommy gun and uh, Bart Simpson on the bench, Tommy Asu and Zinchenko. So don't be surprised if Benny Blanco and um, Kiwi Lime Pie get replaced by those two. Well, it's better than just bringing on El Nenny and Nelson. Do you know what I mean? You Nelson the other day ball, instead of Emil Smith Rowe. Like, mm. talk about making it obvious you don't like somebody. Like, yeah. I just want to make sure I'm on the right. Um, whoops. Yep, I've got the right one. So, obviously, um, I've got my Champions League um, uh, screened by uh, the Sony Sports Network, and we've got two channels showing um, both Arsenal and Porto and Barca against Napoli. Barca and Napoli has been treated as the Marquet game, so it's on Sony Sports 1, whilst two, Sony Sports 2 and 3 have got Barca and Napoli. Lewandowski and company up against... Uh, uh, Osman and company. That should be a cracker. Um, we've got Grievo in the place, bros. We've got Jean RB. Welcome back, bros. Um, bros, here we go. Yep, the biggest European night since 219. Big up Danny and Manny, always, bro. The team that works. Shouts out to you, Jean RB. Pleasure to have you here. Yes, generals, Grievo. Guys, please begin your um, basically your score predictions in first. Has he gone with the right one to 11? Was it a form thing? Was we so amazing against Brentford? But anyway, let's be having it, guys. Let's be having it. I actually would have um, would prefer Jesus on the left if you're going to play Havertz as a false nine. But obviously, um, Arteta wants to go with the uh, team that did well against Brentford. But did we do as well as um, people say we did? I mean, I'll tell you what. There was a huge debate as well about the future of Aaron Ramsdale. I think uh, many of us can agree that his days are now numbered. And uh, Phil Mitchell, good to see you. Um, his days are numbered and he no longer has a future at the club, especially after that dreadful uh, mistake which let Lissa in. But that save from Tony is also, in a way, proof why Raya isn't good enough. Because I'll tell you what, if Raya were between the sticks, that, would, that was a, a sure Tony goal. 1-2 Brentford and we would be right behind the eight ball. And... Uh, Raya needs to have a really good game tonight to prove to a lot of um, the doubters, especially the friends of Aaron, that um, he is good enough. Um, at least Aaron was able to enjoy a win, made a couple of decent saves. And I think the embrace that he shared with Arteta was in a way symbolic. It's a way of saying, if this is the end of my Arsenal journey, it's been a wild ride and I'm grateful. And he needs, to move, on and he, he needs to move on and find a new club and start becoming a lot more serious about being a good goalkeeper. Um, work on his um, game and training, become a, um, a better all-round goalkeeper. Otherwise, he'll just become another Paul Robinson. That's it. And that's what I expect. Okay, now, uh, we are, I've got live pictures now from the Emirates, and uh, we got the teams in the tunnel. Odegaard, Rea, Benny Blanco, Saliba, Magalhaes, and what well, looks like Kivio, and there's that old uh, grumpy coot Pepe. And there are two Pepes in the lineup, I believe. The, the difference is, um, I don't even know how to pronounce the other one. There's a sort of a, a thing, um, a, a sort of a there's something which you use to sort of distinguish that. And um, <laughs> Pepe, it's not, it's a, it's what they call a circumflex in French, so Pepe. Pepe, 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 Pepe. Okay, so Pepe Aquino Casa is the number 11, the uh, sort of um, middle attacking midfield pivot uh, with um, Sir Francisco Conceição on the right and Galena on the left. Evan Nilsson Barbosa is in the middle, number 30, the lone striker. We've got uh, Alan Varela, the Argentinian, at number 22. And... Uh, Nico Gonzalez, number 16. Both of them are the defensive midfielders. And then Neto Lopez at right back. Wendell at left back with Pepe and Otavio, the centre backs, and put Diogo Costa in the uh, in goal. So it's pretty much the same, more or less the same uh, starting Hold lineup on. that we faced at the uh, Estadio de Dragao. 
I'm going to make a quick call, bro. Don't watch me. Don't watch me. Um... Right. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to mute my television so that I can just... Uh... Let's just watch the game. Can analyze it to death, but uh, we can analyze it to death, speaking. brother. <laughs> I was just looking at these as well. Big difference between a hundred percent and ninety percent fit, yeah. So Nick Nack is obviously a doctor. He's told me that party is obviously not fit. So why is he on the bench? <clears throat> like Nick, you're clearly a doctor here, bro. So um, how about Jesus? What about the £32 million left-back? We sold two left-backs in the summer or gave them away for free. Manny, I can't hear. Oh, fuck, what have I done here? Manny? Manny, I can't hear you. What have I done here? This guy, man. I do apologise. I was oh. dancing slash miming to the Champions League thing. Oh, that's because cool, that's I cool. Did... That's fine, that's <laughs> fine. I just thought it was one of my... Um... No, because uh, the only question is, will this be the last time we hear the Champions League anthem this season? I'll tell you what, we have to aim to at least hear this because it's a sight. It's much a, a much better tune than the Europa League or Conference League an anthems, which are quite frankly one and the same and absolutely depressing. So confirmation, same lineup that started against Brentford. The only difference between being David Raya back in goal, Aaron Ramsdale back on the bench where he belongs and where he will stay until the end of the season. Tommy Asu and Zinchenko on the bench, along with several other usual suspects. I'm sure not all of them will get to come out and play in the second half or whenever. Uh, my prediction, uh, we've got Clement Turpin from France. I wonder if he's going to be a Dick Turpin. Danos Finjian, assistant referees, Brissard and De La Jode, assistant VAR. So, all French tonight. There you go. There you go. Anyway, yeah, guys, it is Arsenal now. Um, I've got people just bugging me on my phone. Sorry, Manny. Bro, I don't care about Porto's lineup or Arsenal's lineup right now. All I want to know is, is has he selected the right lineup? Nick Nat, we're talking about 90% of fit. Well, I'm not a doctor and I'm pretty confident you're not. Um, if party has been on the bench for the last four games, I'd say he's fit enough to play football. Um, you're going to say Jesus ain't fit? I don't know. Right, confirmation. The same lineup that started the first leg. Uh, 4 2 3 1. Jean Maria and Wenzel fullbacks. Otavio Pepe centre backs. Nico Gonzalez, Varela are the central midfielders with uh, Pepe. Uh, Conceição on the right. Galeno on the left. And Evan Ilsen up front. And a host of names on the bench, which um, I didn't get the time to read, but I know who, they are, uh, who the starting 11 is. So hopefully, if I do do some commentary tonight, I will make sure I get the players' names right. And You will uh, do, brother. You will do. I know you will. I put up a little thing on Twitter about 330 grand a week here. Yeah. He's 41, that. John. He's 41. Uh, I put 330 grand a week. He has to hold on. It's well documented. He earns 240. Hold on. What a wanker this is. Well documented. <laughs> yeah, well but documented. by the way, Porto about to kick off, attacking from uh, right to left. Um, I will inform you when kickoff starts. Um, and it's just started right now. A short back pass to the midfield, and it's sent forward. One of, uh, yeah, it is uh, Varela who passes it back to Gonzalez. That is with uh, Pepe, who passes it to his fellow centre back, Otavio. An almost risky pass, but Otavio does manage to send it forward. And um, Galeno concedes a throw, and that will be taken by Benny Blanco to Jorginho now. Jorginho, back to Blanco. Because of you, I now call him Blanco. It Saliba. happens, bro. It happens. Nagalash. It happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long and, call. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, Georgie. One else, um, lose on penalties. No, that would suck. 4 0 comfortable win tonight. Yeah. I don't care if it's 1 0, 2 1. Uh, and uh, a foul committed there. I believe um, Declan Good evening, Knight bro. Was, uh, I think good to see it. Mr. Jaha was good. Um, so I got people aiming at me. I got people telling me on Twitter um, that Havertz doesn't earn 330 grand a week. It's well documented he earns 240. 
mate. You're a wanker, whoever you are. <laughs> Still a boatload of money, and then if he and if he doesn't really, you know. I mean, he's starting to score goals, but I want to see his returns at the end of the season. One player who is producing is Saliba, who has the ball right now, sending it forward, hoping to find either one of uh, White or Saka. He finds White, and uh, Galeno sort of uh, pressuring him into giving the ball back to Saliba. It is uh, Magalhaes with uh, Jesus on the bench, but no Martinelli. So only two Gabriels tonight. Will they prove to be the angel Gabriels? I don't know. Uh, Blanco. Saliba, Georgie to Saka, back to uh, Saliba. Come on, Arsenal. Yep, come on indeed. And uh, every time Arsenal are trying to string a few passes together, the defence is holding firm and the ball sends to the penalty area, but that was far too uh, away from Havertz and Diogo Costa. Gobbles that up fairly effortlessly. Aha. One minute, mate. You take your time, you take your time. Costa sending it forward, but uh, Saliba gets on the end of that. And uh, so far, in the first two and a half minutes, there have been no shots on goal. Uh, both teams, of course, enjoying a cagey opening spell. And uh, Evan Ilsen there fouling Jorginho. Sort of uh, putting his shoulder into the back of his neck. Nice Painful. one, Manny. Oh, my God. I've just broke my phone. Carry on, Manny. Save. Oh, Lovely. I'm sorry about that. But uh, we see a shot of Sergio Conte South. Porto coach and, of course, former Portuguese international. 56 caps for Ocelesau. Saliba finding Georgie. Saka, White's overlapping. Nico Gonzalez has lost him. Saliba through the middle. A fair tackle there from uh, Wendell, the number 18, but it's gone to Arsenal's left. And uh, Kiwi line pie, I think. Deflected into the penalty area, but headed over the bar. And that is the first piece of goal mouth action that we've got tonight with uh, Ben White making himself really uh, well known. It was a fair tackle by uh, Wendell, but Rice sending it off to the left. And that wasn't um, Kibio, that was actually Trossard there who had the ball. It was deflected into the penalty area, but White just couldn't get the header on target. I think it sort of went off the side of his head and it ended up going over the bar. In any case, Diogo Costa had it covered. A reminder that Porto lead 1-0 from the first leg. So Arsenal need to win by two goals or more to progress in normal time. If they win by one goal, it goes to extra time. And if after penalties, it is still a one-goal lead for Arsenal, it will be equal on aggregate and we go to penalties. This might be Sabio, talking about but... that. Oi, 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 tackle on Saka. What minute are you on, Manny? Sorry. Oh, uh, four minutes, 15, 16, 17. And uh, Raya should be able to come out and get that. And uh, White was running running back. But because it had gone out of his penalty area, he had to clear it for a throw. And uh, Raya will be a watched man tonight. Possibly, I mean, supposedly a better distributor of the ball uh, with better concentration than Ramsdale. But at least marginally at fault for Galeno's winner in the first leg. Speaking of Galeno, he's yes. got the throw in. Guys, do be getting the likes on the video. Do be subscribing if we is new this evening. Shouts out to all the real ones. Shouts out to Manny. Let's be having it. Get in, man. What the fuck? Yeah, long pass back there to Diogo Costa, who will try and send it forward, maybe. Oh, well, Pepe is obviously running back, but uh, it's a short pass. But this time to Otavio, who passes it back to his goalkeeper. Does he go the other way? No. It is back to Otavio, who now has to try and clear the ball and send it forward. And he does. And an unfortunate slip from Saliba means that Evan Nilsson is free on the left, up against Ben White, and he passes it back. And now Wendell has overlapped nicely, but that wasn't the best cross. But that was an even worse clearance there from Saka, a sort of side-footed hack. And uh, Porto get a throw in. So this is Porto's strength, strong on the counter-attack. And I'll tell you what, if we are unable to beat a, Port a Portuguese um, team with a 41-year-old centre-back, it's, uh, it it's really... A I blame Havertz on 330 grand a week. Becky, we know it's 1-0 to Porto. Yalla, Hussein Juma, Wagwan Maji. And Becky, what are you trying to say? I'm sure we're pretty aware of that, Princess. I'm... 
I'm sure you are as well. But thank you for letting us know. Please be a like on the video. Do be subscribing as you are new, Becky. John RB was good. Mr. John Hall was good. Nick Nat Grievo, UE. Um, what are you oh saying? <laughs> so once again, it's short passes from hilarious. the goalkeeper to his defenders, and it looks He's as though it's Otavio who's trying to bro. send it forward with Wendell having gone down the wing. And it's a pretty good pass, and Trossard has to be the first to get there. And does he... Um, well, he Mate, hold on, wait, 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 sorry, sorry, Manny, 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 let me address this. Even if me and Manny was a couple of seconds behind the beautiful networks that show this out for millions of pounds. I live next to the stadium, Princess. I can hear everything, mate. So I'm ahead of you. So don't worry. I will know before you, before God, before our last scores. Shut your mouth. Sorry, Manny. Just, yeah, but I'm not into that sort of bullshit today. Even my brackets have all the real ones. Well, we're going to find out if Becky's right because Porto just won a free kick. Uh, have us with a very careless... Uh, have us with a very careless handball conceding a free kick right now. It's 7, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So seven and a half minutes have been played. I don't know. By the way, yeah, She's Ramadan Kareem. Mate, and, mate, I can uh, hear everything from the stadium. I've got a whole stadium here, mate, 60,000 people. Uh, and I don't doubt you. I don't doubt you. So, by the way, <laughs> you know saying, to you and all our Muslim people. friends, Ram uh, okay, to, all, to, all, to you and all our Muslim friends, Ramadan Kareem, Kad Barakallah, and I hope um, if you're yeah, fasting, that Allah uh, will, that, um, Allah will um, reward your well. penance and your prayers. Obviously, I am not a Muslim, so you won't see me um, fasting uh, during the day. And uh, especially if I ended up deciding to go for powerlifting, I cannot afford to fast during the day. I need my nutrition around the clock, you see. Hey, bro, I'm fasting, man. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm white. I'm fasting, man. Well, you're doing it for Lent. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, my daughter's I was talking... doing it for Lent. My sister's doing it for Lent. Yeah, but um, I'm, I'm talking about myself. I mean, I said that if I were to consider a career in powerlifting, there's no way I could afford to fast during Ramadan with a go without go without food from dawn until sacrifice, sunrise. Sacrifice, my brother. Sunset. Sacrifice. Well, if um, some people can do it, then maybe I can keep an open mind. But we'll see. Uh, Blanco, so trying to send it forward, but does that go out of play? No, it does. Yes, it does. Not the best of passes intended for Kai Havertz and uh, Porto now have to start all over again. Nine minutes gone and I'm sorry to disappoint you, Becky, but it's only 1-0 to Porto on aggregate. It's still 0-0 at the Emirates. That's why she disappeared. Danny's fast and run into the fridge. Bros, what are you talking about, fam? I wake up so late. It's good. That's what I told Easy today. Easy was laughing himself. I'm like, bro, I just get up late, man. So seriously, I wake up. I walk the dog. <laughs> It's five past six. It's time to break my fast. What? Shut your mouth. Yeah. Varela to uh, Galeno. Wendell. And uh, that is safely back with Otavio. Odegaard was never going to run and intercept him. And now back with Diogo Costa, the uh, Portuguese international goalkeeper, who sends it forward. And, of course, currently first choice for Portugal, ahead of Rui Patricio, who... Still plays in the um, uh, league for Roma, but is very much on the bench during their European adventures to uh, Mile Svila. And Roma, of course, um, there was a huge headline about how ever since firing Jose Mourinho, they become better. Odegaard with a brilliant interception, and he keeps it in play. And can he cut into the penalty area? Well, sadly, an unfortunate slip from Declan Rice means that he doesn't get that cross. But the danger isn't over yet. Now it might be. It's still back with Gabriel Magalhaes, who's on the left, though. So a promising spell for Big Arsenal. Gaps. A rare mistake from uh, Otavio, the defender. Saliba. Magalhaes. And uh, forced into passing it all the way back to David Rea, who has come out of his penalty area. And I really despise this um, habit of both our goalkeepers coming out of the penalty area. I really do. You go walk about, you're asking for trouble. Ask Pedro Gonçalves. That isn't the problem. That isn't the problem here, brother. I just want a bit, a bit of urgency to this game here. Seriously, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. There has to be a little bit of urgency. We're coming up to 11 minutes, and it's still nil-nil at the Emirates. One nil to Porto on aggregate, and we very nearly had a chance with Odegaard, but an unfortunate slip from uh, Uncle Ben meant that the chance went begging. But um, Kiwi Line Pie sending it forward. Trussard 
I think, hoping to run on the end of that, but uh, Pepe oh, says oh. nope. The impact, boy. Oh, come on, impact player. And that's a pretty uh, poor challenge there. Uh, Declan Rice, the guilty party. And um, there's also an interesting question which was asked on uh, Del Boy Gunner TV, the previous stream. Shout out, of course, to one of my favorite Irishmen. What's the crack? What's the bleeding story? I will be going on his call-in show later on tonight. But he was asking, if we continue to underwhelm in Europe, would the likes of Declan Rice and Bakayo Saka be willing to stay with us for a little bit longer? Well, Declan Rice doesn't want to leave London, so he's happy to stay whether he win titles or not. He was happy at West Ham or whatever, so I wouldn't worry about that little bastard, I'll be honest with you. Like, who's going to pay £105 million for him? Like, no team. I, I love Declan Rice, don't get it twisted. I'm just saying, if there was 15 clubs ready to pay and had cash on the hip, as Del Boy would say, yeah? As Del Boy would say, Manny. Yeah? <laughs> You mean Trotter, well, not uh, Healy? People would have bid for him. But in reality, mate, not everyone's got 105 mil on the hip. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, maybe we might not need to worry about that because there was very nearly a chance. Yogo Costa nearly getting into trouble with a poor, poor, poor clearance there. I think he tried to gather it, but ended up palming it out and had to prevent it from going for a corner. And speaking of which, Arsenal have won a corner with 12 and a half minutes gone. So it's all Arsenal at this moment. In time. Really we are stretching the Portuguese defence. If they think that they can come over here and try and park the bus against us, they've got another thing coming. This bird's so, a so massive West Ham fan. Well, girl, you got to be blowing them bubbles tomorrow when Freyball kick the shit out of you, girl. No, that's Thursday. And by the way, I hope West Ham burst their bubble because they should have had a penalty in the first leg. At the end I hope West Ham win as well, to be honest with you. But, you know. Yeah. By the way, corner to be taken by Saka. Left foot, hoping to swing it in. No, it's a short one to Trossard. And then he gets it, passes it into Saka in the penalty area. Odegaard trying to cut oh, in on his on. left foot. And he I shoots it wide. Say. And this is one of the reasons why I can never get behind Odegaard because this guy cannot use his right foot for toffee. I'm going to tell you a, a little stat here, brother. Did you know Colton Cole, the guy that was 45 million quid, Chelsea, he's a shit cunt, he's English, he's no good, yeah? According yeah. to most people. He's got the same sort of stats as Jude Bellingham at Real Madrid. Just letting everyone know, in in terms of goals and assists. And remember, he plays in a fucking much tougher league, the Premier League. Let's have it right, yeah? Well, I mean, Cole obviously is shining. I mean, it's easy to be that big fish in a small pond, which he wouldn't have been at Manchester City. And um, I'll tell you what, he's also played a very big role in potentially denying Manchester City the title. They've drawn twice this season. So... I'd like to see Cole um, continue to play well and force his way into the England reckoning. I mean, obviously, Bellingham and uh, Otavio is looking very shaky right now. Havertz very nearly intercepting him, but um, the centre-back recovers. However, Magalhaes um, sending it forward and a cheeky little pass from Trossard finding Rice, who tries to move on the left. He jinxes his way past Pepe, but goes perhaps a bit too far. And the attempt at crosses the penalty area is weak, and Neto Lopez is able to... Uh, clear that away. That's Xiao Mario Neto Lopez, that is. And uh, Xiao Mario loses the ball to Declan Rice. It is Trossard now, who now tries to send it right footed into the penalty area, but uh, Saka unable to meet the cross. And uh, Conte Sao is able to head that down. And uh, the referee doesn't blow for a foul. It's an Arsenal throw, so Arsenal can continue to attack. But uh, Pepe. Um, pretty much shoves Rice off the ball and sees that go out for a goal kick. So Arsenal looking really good, but just not able to get that uh, je ne sais quoi in the final. It's third. not quite there. Guys, do get the likes on the video. Becky, Phil, what's going on, people? I've got people... So it's gone from 240 Havertz earns on um, Twitter now to 280. These people are proper dickheads, aren't they? No, seriously. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, whether it's 240 or 280, he's still one of the biggest earners at the club, and he's got to do a lot to justify earning that huge pay packet. What do you say, bro? Well, if Danny tells you he's the biggest, he is the biggest earner. Yeah, by the way, Avin Ilson now, with a chance, and it's deflected off uh, one of our own, and this is why you cannot relax against Porto. Give them space, and they will hit you on the counter. A huge um, high clearance. Saliba does not deal with it very well. Heads it to Evan <coughs> inadvertently. And if it weren't for Magalhaes um, deflecting that behind, Raya, well, I'm sure Raya would have had it covered anyway, but still, 
not a very welcome piece of... Well, apparently it's gone out for a goal kick. It wasn't a corner. I'd, it might have gone through Magalhaes' yeah, legs, sorry, maybe. Mate. But uh, anyway, exactly. Porto now also proving that they are more than capable of springing a shock on the counter. And that is why Arsenal have got to stay alert. Saliba, Gabriel, wake up, boys. Come on, the Arsenal. What's going on here, man? This is what I mean. Manny, I'm not feeling this at all. We're not. It's the same as in Portugal, bro. Lopez Allez, Sida. Monsieur Saliba. Vai, Senora Magalhaes. Keep your eyes peeled. Well, at least Saliba has the ball now. Passes it to Blanco, who passes it back to Saliba. The, the Blanco, yeah? Yeah. Magalhaes now, the other central defender. I'm not even on your... Where, where's your comments? He yeah. sounds... Oh, hold on. He sounds yeah. like a bloody commentator for the game. He'd be perfect at the Emirates. Thank you very much indeed, my darling. Wonderful to meet you as well. Thank you for coming in tonight. And I do try. I am no Ian Dark or... And I'll um, script you live in Emirates. Yeah. Or Brian Moore, but I do my best. And so Raya gets the ball and passes it to Saliba on the right wing. It is with Georgie Porgy, as I fondly call him, of course. And uh, it finds its way to Saliba via Odegaard. And uh, Odegaard was hoping to find White, who had overlapped, but that is well intercepted. And uh, Porto still can't quite clear their lines. Odegaard now gets the ball. And in fact, Arsenal do win a free kick. By the way, so Rice will stay put in London, but there is talk about Saka possibly being tempted by the... Um, millions on offer at PSG and the prospect of winning a league title every year. Could he go? I don't think so. If Saka was ever to leave us, it would have to be he would either burn us and go Man City or it's a Real or a Barcelona. Or he's going to stay for his career at Arsenal. That's what I reckon. I hope he does. Because I'll tell you what, if things get to a head where he isn't happy with the situation, you know, in Peter Pan, when uh, uh, Peter Pan says it's hook or me, it could very well be either Arteta or Saka. I wouldn't go that far. This happened in Van Persie in the past, Vieira, Henri. These, so, I don't want to talk about Van Persie, but Vieira and Henri gave 10 years service to this club, captain, World Cup winners, legends. Still made profit on them as well, something Arteta couldn't do on someone in a blowjob. You know, after 10 years of service, when they're fucking old and over 30, we can still make yeah. profit on them. By the way, Uncle Ben with the free kick. Into the penalty area. And Magalhaes proving why he is not a striker and the offside flag was raised anyway. Pretty fair to say if we take a look from, a look from this that uh, at least two players missed timing their runs there. Guys, do we get no lags on the... Flipping a video. Who is with me? Why are we so quiet tonight as well? More pertinently, why is there, why is there an echo? Thankfully, it's switched off now. And uh, Porto's high line uh, trapping them well. And we're coming up to um, 19 minutes and 30 seconds. Slowly, Costa maybe. sending that forward. And it goes above uh, Jorginho. Of course I do. And... Work has to be done to try and prevent a Porto throw, but it is now back with Gonzalez, who finds uh, Pepe, not Pepe the defender. This is Pepe Aquino, the uh, winger, or the midfielder, rather. And that is a needless foul on Leandro Trossard. Uh, it looks as though it's uh, Jao Maria, who's the guilty party, and Arsenal can clear their lines. So 20 minutes gone, 20 minutes and 10 seconds, actually. It is still nil-nil at the Emirates, one nil to Porto on aggregate. Levi Roots, ah, yes. Put yeah, man, that's my boy, that's my boy, my man. Food for me. Give me some reggae, reggae sauce. I read his autobiography. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> and uh, Jean Marie he didn't like me. I asked him, to just, let's, let's do a little cook-off. Let's do a sauce off. I told him I was better than him, so he didn't like me immediately. Yeah, yeah, mate. Uh, this is the thing. If you want to, if you want to make a good first impression, do not ever put them down. Now you've learned that. Oh, there you go. Mate. That's my first fucking thing all the time, mate. Why don't you whip in this kitchen, son, and show me how good you are? Or did some cunt put that in a bottle for you? He wasn't delighted of it, and he did decline my um offer of um a sauce off. I said, let's just do a straight chili, Turkish style. In the, I don't care what style. You said about um my Scotch bonnets. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
they work, whatever I do works. Lord me. have mercy, the most powerful yeah, exactly. chili in the world. I, I think wouldn't quite uh, put Graham Potter in charge either. Uh, no, wouldn't touch Potter with a barge pole. Pass back to David Rea and uh, Jorginho now. Okay, and uh, Saliba, a little bit under pressure, but finds Ben White with the pass. White trying to send it forward to Saka. And uh, Porto win the ball back fairly. Wendell, the left back there, passing it to Otavio. And it is now once again back with Diogo Costa. So it looks as though Porto are trying to not so much park the bus, but certainly trying to bide their time, soak up the pressure and hit Arsenal on the counter. So underestimate them at your peril. And to all those people who were predicting Evan Hilton in the penalty area, top save by David Rea. Um, Fuck me. But still in the penalty area, the danger isn't over. Evan Nilsson with the header down to Gonzalez. Galeno okay, can take a shot, up. blocked by the defence, and that is a Porto throw. Do not ever... I don't think that's Galeno who took that shot. My bad. It might have been someone else who took it. First of all, that shot from Evan Nilsson went past Saliba. I think it was pretty much in um, Rat Ryan's arc anyway, but he still had to make the save. Brilliantly done by the thing. And it was Wendell who took that shot, which was blocked for a throw, by the way. Porto still on the attack in the penalty area. And uh, Evan Nilsson's attempt to try to uh, have a shot at the near post is blocked. But uh, it is back with Porto. Does Otavio pass it back yes, to Diogo sir. Costa? Yes, he does. You know, that type of thing where Otavio gets the ball and he passes it back to his goalkeeper. I think if you, if you, if you, if you enjoy alcohol, have yourself a, a shot of tequila or vodka every time yeah, that well, happens. A back, pass, a back pass to the goalkeeper. And Rea expertly almost um, trying to control that and... He's a, he was able to uh, sort of um, intercept the attack, but not able to prevent the throw, and that will be a Porto throw. So Porto now coming on strong. Fuck me. Pass back to the keeper. Shot. No. Oh. Wow. Guys, this is um, this is like Portugal a couple of weeks ago. And I'll be honest, this is pretty much what I expected. Like, fuck. Yep, uh, that and that particular game, Diogo Costa wasn't even forced to make a save, while Porto had the better chances. And uh, is it a Porto throw or not? It is a Porto throw, and I think Jao Maria Ma Mario will be taking that. That shot again. Excellent left hand there from David Rea, and uh, I think it's fair to say that he had the had, had it had the shot covered anyway. But you still got to make the save. You got to do fucking something. It was straight in front of him, bro. So I, was, I didn't even want to go there. It's like, the, yeah, it's a standard fucking save. Bollocks. In my opinion. You oh, have God. high standards, Danny. You do have high standards, Danny boy. And uh, Galeno... I'm just going to take you look exactly that, the same with the kick. first leg. We're going out again. Sack this cunt. There you go. Shouts out to Cam. Get in the stream. <laughs> there and you that's go. the worst part. If we go out, it will be like deja vu. This stage last season, we went out for Sporting Lisbon. We were top of the table, and we ended up bottling it. And uh, Portugal actually lead us now in ball possession, 54 to 46. These are testing times, Danny boy. Testing they certainly time. are, bro. They certainly are. Right. Georgie receives the ball in the penalty area, and it is Magalhaes who will try and... Uh, he ends up passing it back to David Rea. Saliba. <coughs> they began to quiet down the crowd. It was uh, it was uh, buzzing about 15 minutes ago at the end. Oh, you could hear the noise, could silent. you? They're, they're eating prawn sandwiches now, mate. It's gone silent. <laughs> oh, the prawn sandwiches. Personally, I prefer um, salmon or tuna, but hey, you do you. Manny's busy. I'm sure he'll answer that in his own time, people. Like, yeah, I, I will answer that. I am originally from the UK, born and raised, but I'm currently living all the way in India. So by the time this match ends, it will be half past three my time. And in case you think I'm going to go to sleep after that, nope, I will be on Del Boy Gunner TV's call-in show after the match, and I will either be beaming or I will be absolutely losing it. Let's hope we're not fucking losing it. WB, let's not jinx fucking nothing out here, bros, mate. I'm telling you, shut up, mate. Listen. <coughs> mate. You know me, I just say it the way it is, isn't it? I'm not here to blow Manny, mate. I fucking tell you it's Arteta's fault before it's mine or Manny's fault. Believe me. I mean, what can me yeah. and Manny do about this? 
Yeah, we can't do but anything at all. Shout out to little bastard. How you doing? Who you annoying this evening? <laughs> no, seriously. No, he's one of them guys, man. He'll be annoying someone. Seriously, he'll be on his phone right now. I promise you, he's got his phone in his hand. He's just... Look, he's just pressed the green button. Boof. We, we all know someone who could be a bit of a pain in the ass, but is also a really lovely bloke. There you go. That's fucking WB. <laughs> I believe that's Trossard right now who jinxed it past Jao Mario hoping to get into the penalty area but uh, that will be a goal kick Declan Rice probably not expecting that and did he take a bit of a blow on the nose old Uncle Ben Trossard hey, proving his efficacy I think so far, no yeah, so far that well I think he headed it and then bumped right into Pepe's shoulder poor little bloke oh that is painful just hope you don't have a deviated septum there, Deckers. And uh, Costa sending it long and wide. That'll be a throw. We're going to phone easy live at half time, WB. Don't worry. We're going to phone easy live. You know, man is up in a. Um, man is in um, Egham, wherever it is, Egham. He's doing a training course for his company, a management course. Oh. Yeah. Nice Shouts out to easy here, yeah, man. Yep. He was me just before he was he, leaving. Like. Okay, so Kivio to Jorginho, who finds um, Benny Blanco. And Saliba is wide on the right, and he does find um, Saka. Right, not uh, Saliba, Saka. And uh, the Saka Wendell um, duel will be really interesting. Is that a free kick or will that be a goal kick? I think uh, it is a goal kick. Wendell there getting the better of um, our star boy. Um. Looked a bit like a foul there, but uh, the referee hasn't given it. So Wendell escapes. As you fucking do. And Otavio once again just controlling the ball. Not the best of clearances, but Porto have the ball. It is Pepe Aquino passing it all the way out wide out right. I believe that is Jao Mario who's come overlapped. He's got uh, Francisco Contessao in front of him, but he goes into the centre. Varela Guys, just let you know, Barcelona are 2 0 up. Cancelo and Lopez have scored. It's 3 1 to Barcelona. Thank you Club for the updates. Club Barcelona on aggregate 2 0. Your box is working fine, WB. It's just in fucking Egham. So, so 2 0 to Barcelona, 3 1 on aggregate because they drew 1 1 the first leg. Thanks for the update. And at the other end, no Raya forced into a save. And uh, Benny, Ben White hoping to find. Uh, well, that was a beautifully flighted crossover there. I think he was hoping to find possibly... Uh, he was hoping to find number 29. Beautifully flighted there. Catching Diogo Costa off guard. But who should be there to save the day but the 41-year-old Porto skipper deflecting that behind before Havertz to get on the end of that. And that will be an Arsenal corner. And injuring himself in the process, taking a bump to the elbow there. And he falls down as if he's been shot. But he gets up afterwards. Credit to him. So it's starting to heat up now as we get towards the half hour mark. It is um, Uncle Ben with the corner. Right footed in swinger, hoping to try and find someone. Can he flight this as well as uh, Ben White did? Maybe Ben White should take the corners. Tell him, Becky. He's fucking on the old BT. Uh, Brothers, everything your VPN, your CPN. Your OPM, everything's fine. Is John play gets stopped over here because there are two balls on the pitch at the same time. And uh, it will be an Arsenal throw. I was saying that because Ben White flighted that so well and had those two assists, maybe there's a case for him taking the corners, but I don't think he's got a strong enough shot for that. Right to that just... corner and it was easily cleared anyway. I'm just seeing the 57-year-old Pepe. Oh, fair enough, yeah. WB. Uh, da, uh, Lee Akers is not fucking happy at the stadium. I can literally hear the bastard from here. And uh, I think it was a quickly taken throw, which ended up nearly producing a goal. You blink and you miss it. White trying to be cheeky to find Havertz and very nearly getting that in. That squirmed past the post, but the referee saw some jiggery pokery and said, I'm not having that. Bring it back. 
Bring it back, man. You bastards, Arsenal, man. Come on. Shout out to me and Manny. Come on, Arsenal, man. What the fuck? 31 minutes gone. We've got um, Odegaard and Uncle Dog, Ben standing over it. It looks as though it's going to be Odegaard to take this free kick. Um, left footed, swing it into the penalty area, hoping to try and uh, find someone. He's taking it from the right. And again, I've told you, Odegaard is so left footed, he can't, his right foot is practically useless. Odegaard swinging it in. It's high, but uh, Costa punches it clear. As far as Saka, though, who's on the edge of the penalty area, and he wins a corner. Come on, Arsenal, man. <clears throat> we need a goal to settle our nerves. Can we find it from the corner? And you can see uh, a few of the Arsenal fans getting a little bit loud. And there's a Porto player on the floor. I think um, they're not taking too kindly to the Portuguese dark arts, are our fans in the stadium. Becky, you must be trying to trigger me, girl. Who are you, Becky, man? You've come out of nowhere, West Ham fan out of nowhere to say come on Porto, but lovely. Thanks for having you here. And don't worry. She's taking the Mickey, you know that. I'm sure she's a nice lady. In God I trust, Arsenal will win. Isn't it local? <laughs> Fuck me, what's going on? Don't worry, Becky, we'll blow bubbles tomorrow. Thursday, you mean? Thursday. That'll do. Saka with the corner, left footed, in swinger. Too short, not far Manny, enough. Manny, 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 Manny. It's just not a Champions League day, is it? <laughs> Bottom line, it's just not a Tuesday or a Wednesday, is it? And uh, goes through everyone, but straight through to Diogo Costa. Habas unable to get on the end of that. And so after 33 minutes exactly, it is still nil no at the Emirates. 1 nil to Porto on aggregate. Okay. And uh, I think you can see the Portuguese fans trying to bring a little black magic into the uh, proceedings, waving the arms like this. <laughs> no, they're just nice and comfortable at the moment, mate. I've heard of dark arts, but uh, dark arts and black magic, I swear. Mate, I'd rather have a wank than win the Conference Cup. I'm going to be honest with you. Honestly, it's like when the, I've had an argument with um, real ones on the channel. I don't know if Manny was there that night, like Craig. And I was like, what's the point of winning the League Cup? It wins you a million quid. Winning the FA Cup, it's prestigious and how old school it is, it wins you two million quid. Do you know what? Like Wenger said, bollocks. I'd rather finish fourth. A hundred million quid. So do you know what? You actually can, as God is watching me, you can take your Europa Conference League and stick it right up that East London fucking hole of yours. Mate, because mate, you know mate, 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 calm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm, no, calm. Down, calm down. Get away from my trainers because I'll fuck you up as well. Get up here where I can see I you. Because, listen, listen, I, I, I get what you're saying, but there's also another saying which we have back in England. Beggars and borrowers cannot be choosers. When was the last time we ever sang We're the Champions of Europe? 31 years and potentially counting. 94. Cup on his cup. 90, uh, yeah, 90. Yeah, I was that's there, right, 94. I was so, fucking there. I was in Copenhagen, bros. I was fucking yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. I don't doubt you were there. And so you understand. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna, listen, <laughs> mate, I can't remember yesterday. But don't tell me when the fucking last time we won a bit of Euro. You know what I mean? Alan Smith and all that. Um, but then that's the thing. 35 minutes gone. Still nil nil at the Emirates. One nil to Porto on aggregate. If we Chloe, can get a give them all hell, girl. Time, that will. That will. Wait, Chloe, really pretend you're Danny for about 15 seconds. I don't nuts on him. <laughs> uh, Danny, Manny, uh, how you boys doing? As I turn this uh, <laughs> um, directional tactic wise, we are sitting next to it. Hold on, sitting next to a great. So fucking frustrating, frustrating to watch. I'd rather the players just took control of the game. We are shit. Um, Come on, I say, can see you, mate. You see, Declan Rice will take control of a game, but in the central midfield, like, if you need a bit of attacking emphasis, like, yeah, we, we're calling for Saka, etc. We're missing fucking the boy Gabriel Martinelli. Yep. 
Well, I think what Carney is trying to say is that even with uh, Martinelli in the team, I think he played it in the first leg at the Estadio do Dragal, um, we looked almost one-dimensional and didn't really uh, trouble Porto very much. So, you know, and, and this is the thing. I mean, we as much as... Tonight. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what. At least um, De with Declan Rice, we do have a European champion. And I want to say to Becky and Phil, thank you for Declan Rice. Probably yeah, the best... So far, the best 100 million Bob we've ever spent. He is an absolute gem. And besides, you were able to do some good shopping by getting uh, Ward Prowse, Kudus, and a few other players. But um, he is a European champion, unlike several others in our squad. The only European champion we have in our squad. In fact, that Conference League final was his last game. So I'll tell you what. There is a part of me which feels that in as much as he enjoys being in London, <laughs> he, he will love the European Knights and he will love to win some European trophies. And we haven't done any of that for quite some time. So I just hope he doesn't get disillusioned in a hurry. No, he won't. He probably... Mate, I wouldn't want to say it right now because everyone will be like, you, you fucking, you really support Chelsea, didn't you? Mate, I was told by a Chelsea fan, bona fidely, when Arsenal was bidding for him at the start of the season, yeah? Yeah. He actually did want his boyhood heroes to come in at least ask a question. They are his club, innit? He supports them. He's a football fan. He ain't like Ben White, who actually doesn't like football. Declan Rice is actually a football fan. Yep. And um, I wouldn't want to say he definitely want to join them, but I've, I've been told by one of their... Um, younger coaches, not as important coaches, someone behind more the scenes that coaches kids or whatever. But listen, doesn't matter what they fight, I can't don't care if they coach birds, mate, or women. Yeah? I was told that Declan wanted Western uh Chelsea to ask the question in the summer. They didn't. And as I said to you, Manny, Man City yeah. pretended like they put in a little fake bid. No other cunt in Europe or the world put 105 mil on the table, yeah? Yeah. Right simple as that. Yeah. And I don't believe tomorrow, if Arsenal were to say they were going to go skin and Corona come and bit us in our balls and whatever, etc., and whatever wanker talk, which club is going to come and give us 105 for him tomorrow, apart from Chelsea Football Club? May the only thing uh, one who would 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 be a club from Europe, and Decky doesn't want to leave England. You're right. Well, no, and but, needless... but, 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 which club in Europe can afford him? Real Madrid ain't signed no one in about five years. Barcelona are a boss of fucking loner. Bayern Munich have got a few quid, but they've took one or two risks with Kane and that. They're not going to do that, in my opinion. PSG? Who wants to play in France? I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, there might be a few who do. And, of course, you missed Saliba getting a booking for hauling down um, Galeno, which is rather stupid. And okay. uh, this is where we could be... Um, uh, um, we, we might end up uh, being, uh, you know, beaten because if we lose our cool, then it could be, uh, yeah, the Porto left back, uh, Wendell putting the shackles on him. A learning curve too for Saka there, definitely. You're absolutely right, AFC always. And uh, welcome to the chat, by the way. Wonderful to see you as always, mate. And uh, coming up to 40 minutes, five minutes to go. Actually, five and a half minutes plus stoppages. It is still and uh, nil nil, but Jao Maria running forward, but a uh, pretty poor pass there. Was never going to find um, Francisco Contessao, and Ray is able to gather that. Lays it out to Jorginho, who will now try and uh, start something from deep. A short pass to Blanco, passes it back to Jorginho. <coughs> who does he pass to this time? Sorry, man. I'm just in the chat. Go on, CB, though. That's it. You fucking say it the way it is. Lynn is a fucking dog, and everyone's a mug if they don't like Danny Ayers. We're on the one, buddy. One nil to fucking. We're fucking one nil up. Fuck We're off, gonna, West Ham. I'm going to take, take a look at yes! you. Yes. Fuck on. about. Hold it. I hold it. Trust God. I fucking live there. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Fuck about. Fuck about with me. Yes. Fuck a fucking bow. One nil to a fuck off, Porto. You little two cunts. <laughs> And five Woo! minutes before halftime, that calms our nerves. Odegaard, very much in the thick of it. I was saying as well that Odegaard needs to have a big game and he's come up trumps tonight. And that is what we needed. Oh, one, nil the, one nil to the Arsenal, one one on aggregate. But Arteta knows that the tie is not done. We have 45 minutes, of course, to try and confirm everything. Wendell, not the best of clearances, slipped. 
Odegaard was able to retrieve that. And acres of space. Trussard on the left. Lee, Can't I heard your fucking voice from the stadium, son. The LTA has only gone and scored, didn't he? Trussard. Well, I think that answers the question of whether or not he deserved his place in the starting lineup tonight. He was proving me wrong by proving himself very efficient with the ball. Well done to Odegaard for finding his man. The Jean LTA! Maria, fucking a. Man. The fucking LTA! I'm so sorry. LTA Leandro Trossard Association, right? No. Lee Acres Trossard. No, Lee Trossard Acres. Lee loves him, ah, innit? Yeah. So that's the LTA. And Pepe showing his age. So, as it stands, there are three and a half minutes to go, plus stoppage until the end of the first half. We have 45 minutes to score another goal, which could potentially take us through. And I will say that nerves are calmed, and we are now looking a lot better. Trossard there getting the better of Jao Mario. Jao Mario had lost his man, and Pepe unable to prevent Trossard from sliding it past Diogo Costa. And we are 1-0 up, but uh, do not discount Porto. Pepe finding a finding Concesao on the right. Money, Concesao money, money. Against... Yeah? Before we came live, who did I say I rated as highly as Trossard? Havertz. Havertz. Fucking the same player. Fuck him. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If Lee Akers were here, he was. Uh, he would probably say, don't you dare um, distrust Wait, that Akers, way. He's already screaming on the group, man. If you see him, my fuck. He's in the stadium right now, bouncing, but he's still telling me that I'm a big bastard because Lee Akers, uh, the LTA is the best footballer in the fucking world. Yeah, Gabriel coming in there with a tackle. Um, seen quite late. I think uh, Porto are hoping for a free kick. Uh, but once again, this pass from Odegaard, absolutely crisp, crisper than the finest mounds of spring water. And uh, through Pepe's legs, past Diego Costa, into the net, 1-0 to the Arsenal. And the only problem is if it stays that way, it will go to extra time. We need uh, another goal. No extra time, son. Don't worry. We're going to nick it in the last fucking minute because don't worry, we'll have a couple of wankers on the stream. And they want us to fucking lose. So guess what? We're now definitely winning. We're going to see. We're going to see. And uh, Trussard, of course, he always he always looks so it looks so tired with those bags under his eyes. I think you need to use a bit of concealer there. But uh, I don't care as long as he can score goals like that. Trussard, Ray is sending it forward. Wait, it's the How LTA cup. It's the LT fucking A. <laughs> Uh, real ones, yes. Yeah, and the referee, uh, Clement Turpin. I just hope he doesn't turn into a dick Turpin and rob us of our uh, uh, passage through to the quarterfinals. But uh, Havertz there climbing all over Nico Gonzalez and sending him to the ground. And that will be a Porto free kick. We're into the last minute of normal time. And we're going to find out how many minutes of stoppage time will be added. Danny is gross. <laughs> Costa sending it forward. On the head of Galeno. No one on the end of that, though, but that will go out for a Porto throw. 30 seconds to go before the end of time. It will be Galeno to take the throw. This bird's definitely a wanker, isn't she? She's bored, isn't she? Sorry, I don't like calling birds wankers, but she's a tosser, isn't she? <laughs> a tosser bird. <laughs> Into the penalty area and Porto She's wanting a special, penalty, but Turpin waving it away. And uh, does that go out for a Porto throw? And Pepe once again on the ground, this time clutching what looks to be his side. And Otavio and Declan Rice exchanging a few words and uh, Varela pushing him away. All getting a bit argy bargy as we're into the, to, to the one minute of stoppage time added. And as it stands, Arsenal will be going into the break 1 0 up, but 1 all on aggregate. So. The next 45 minutes are going to be crucial. What will Sergio Concesao's plan be? What will Arsenal do? And Pepe is in serious pain, clutching his um, right side, the right side of his thigh, it must be said, not his uh, backside. What happened to the V on my top? Pepe I rising know, high with the header. I don't know. Why would you and... know this as well, you little shit cunt? 
My V's falling off, Manny. Oh. Jean Arby Wagwan! Yep, that's exactly what we needed. Let's fucking go. Yeah. And Alan Varela, they're getting rather pushy. And so you we might have. You were done here? No. We might see we might see a few more minutes added as um, we take a break so that Pepe can be attended to. It was the other Pepe with a brilliant header, rising high, belying those 41 years of his, but uh, nobody able to meet that header. And so Declan Rice with his uh, trademark uh, mushroom cut, very short back and sides. I always like the short back and sides for a haircut. Very trendy, but my dad tells me that's, that if you do that, it makes you look like a little boy. Well, uh, uh, uh. see, my dad would have told you you have to get it done short because, you know what I mean, you ain't going back there for a year, you cunt. You know what I mean? We've got to save money out here, so fuck you. Absolutely. I, I leave my hair to grow for about three months, and Pepe is really in pain. I don't think he'll be able to continue. So we could see the first substitution of the game already, and uh, we'll find out if... Um, yeah, he's clutching his side and practicing. Well, you're see, hold on, I told Manny a couple of things. I told Manny, sorry, because John Arby is here. I told Manny that Hazard and Trafazard. Kumsi Kumsa, same fucking guy. I also told Manny, yeah. I also told Manny that party will probably come on. And, well, it was the 94th minute the other day. So I'm going to say he'll come on today. Bang on 90. Bang on 90. Just to take the piss out of you and of me. Yeah? That's what Arteta does. Win, lose, yeah. or draw. Yeah? Yeah, did the same to Kieran Tierney more often than not. And no wonder our brave heart got uh, beat up. I would love said, Kieran you know Tierney here right now. We've got fucking this dude at left back. I don't care where he's from, but his name is Jacob and a key fucking war. Bollocks. And I was he's here so... I was saying that he should start out of Zinchenko, but I'll tell you what. We all know um, uh, Bart Simpson, how yeah, he goes really. forward and leaves gaps at the back. And as for you, um, you attention seeking. We are the champions. Could you imagine me and Manny doing the fucking final at Wembley? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Don't, 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 don't go too far. We've still got 45 minutes and they're just walking off at half time. For some reason, Trossard and Turpin are having a talking to. I'm not too sure. John Arby, since you've said that, it will now be the 91st minute, bros. Because Arteta doesn't care like us, okay? Yep, there you go. Yep, yep, That's yep, why yep. Tierney's in Spain, okay? Lokonga doesn't look so bad in midfield at Luton either, I'm just saying. Probably better than Jorginho. But, hey, let's not talk about that on a Champions League night. Yeah. By the way, in other news, former Champions League winner Rafa Benitez sacked by Celta Vigo with the club 70s in the league, only above relegation. And I'll tell you what, all I can say is good riddance, and I hope we never see him in management again. So do I hurt me more, Manny? Yeah? Nil no fucking Warnock. Why did he step in? He was going to make Aberdeen fucking champions next year, we man. I hey, you maybe he couldn't handle it, couldn't handle the pressure, you see. Oh, Mind thing it's good and it's not like for him. everyone. He told him the way it was. He was like, listen here, you two Scottish little whatever. Just come here and you fucking defend. You go forward. Listen, Neil Warnock's the man, bro. Not in Premier League terms, I'm just saying. A bit too aggressive for, uh, for his Scottish friends, eh? If I was to buy a club in Scotland, Livingston, Aberdeen or Hearts, fuck yes, I put Neil Warnock in charge of that shit. Um, you're right, man. I'll tell you, yep, 90 second minute. It's going to go up every minute. Yeah, every minute you say it. That's what I mean. I'll tell you, we'll bring him on in the 91st. All right, 89th. I'm yeah, and the only reason well. why he's so predictable, John, is because we our bench strength is absolutely awful. At least we got the Thomas Tommy Party is not an awful Simpson footballer. Manny, 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 I'm going to slow yeah. you down. Thomas Party is not an awful footballer. I'm not saying that, and I said and we neither got is two hundred grand the week wages, my friend. Nothing about it is awful. I know, I know, I know. I'm not saying I never said he was awful. I'm talking about the bench strength we currently have. Um, but anyway, by the way, I'm glad Benitez is gone. Um, he was lucky to have won that 2005 Champions League. He won it because of Yertsy Dudek, and he rewarded him by <laughs> dropping him to the bench. Yertsy! And we, we, he rewarded him by dropping him to the bench so he could get his Spanish blue-eyed boy Pepe Reina in. And Pepe Reina 
was uh, dunked on twice by Aubameyang last week. <laughs> Playing yep. for Villarreal. He was a, a, a decent tactician, but not really as good as people think he is. And his man management was absolutely abysmal. Stevie G also didn't really like him very much at all. And wherever he's gone, he's never hey, really... Hey, Stevie G never wanted to players. leave that club until that little bastard, the fraudster that's at Celtic, was at that club. Yep. That's yep. when Stevie G went to leave. Don't you start a raffle like that, brother. He's not that bad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Stevie G had enough... When that little Brendan Rodgers that fucking slips over and bottles it, even though it was Stevie himself. Do you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm, I'm not putting Rodgers and Benitez in the same boat, you see. I'm just I saying that really Benitez... Not, brother. I really hope I, not. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying that Benitez, as a person, was simply not the nicest one to deal with. Dudek and Gerard would testify to that. They didn't like him at Chelsea. He did well at Newcastle. But if you can't even hack it at Real Madrid, where you were um, uh, a reserve team player and a reserve team coach... Then I'm sorry, but uh, that is one of my criticisms. Can't... That is that is a massive criticism, I suppose. I do wonder why. I, yes, I agree with that. Everton, yeah. he didn't have a chance. Newcastle, he was punching above his weight. If you ask me, Liverpool yeah. done fantastic. Next, I don't know. No, the problem is after that FA Cup, he won bugger all, and um, you know he was sent on his merry way not long, not too long afterwards. And then Kenny Dalglish came in and won a few pieces of silverware. And uh, all was right with the world, apparently, until he got sacked. And uh, I think it was um, Rogers who came in. That what it was. Hold on, Warnock. It was random, bros. But it was something that would have worked, bros. He would have made them fucking champions next year, bros. I'm telling you, you would have got a couple of boys in the championship down. That little sharp, that Sheffield United, or something, the striker. He would have found. I don't know. He would have found something. And Josh Townsend would have went up there for him. Fuck knows. I don't know. And he would have yeah. scored 15 and assisted 15 mm. in the Scottish fucking Premier League. What can you say? Yeah, I'll tell you what. After War what Warnock did with his beloved Huddersfield Town, shout out to Ryan Mather from Huddersfield Town Fan TV. He's still um, he's back to, back on YouTube doing some videos, of course, and uh, ranting about his uh, club and how they need to do, be doing a lot more. Uh, they were in the Premiership, of course, not too long ago. I hope, I do hope that they will sort out their problems. I'm loving back it, mate. To, back to more pertinent news. Edison Marais out for four weeks with a muscle injury. He might miss the Arsenal game. How do you rate his understudy, the uh, Spanish-German boy, Ortega Moreno? Um, listen, Edison is a fantastic goalkeeper. Um, Ortega... He's like the Liverpool goalkeeper, Carragher or Keller, whatever you want to call him. He's a very good number Keller. two. He's a yeah. very good number two. He's not Edison. So it's a fucking bonus. Um, even though the brain can still assist four in a game. For me, when I watch him playing football, he isn't the, the brain of a couple of seasons ago. Um, again, Manny, like, I don't know if there's ever going to be a time where we're going to fuck up City. It's got to be now or never. But again, has to be. he will bring on El Nenny and he will bring on Nelson before he brings on Thomas Party and Emil Smith Rowe. So, again, am I just bitching or am I just seeing shitter footballers play for my club? What you're Bro, they've been trying to get rid of Thomas Party for a fucking year and a half, mate. So, yeah. What you're, what, you're see what you're seeing is a manager who clearly has agendas. And when he has, when managers have their own agendas, you know, um, it's horrible. Well, that's one of the reasons why I love Carlo Ancelotti. He's um, exceptionally humble. He's a terrific man manager, gives everyone a fair chance. But then come, you know, the second half of the season, he will have found his best 11. He will give them, he, he pretty much makes sure that it's all about He's now just put Arda Galera in that team as well. And Arda Galera scored the other day and won in the fucking game. Obviously well, to be fair, the, to be fair, the game was already won by the time Galera scored. And, and that they, was, of they, course, they, 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 that was, of course, Arda Galera done everything. Just because I like him, okay. And there's yeah, a good footballer sitting there, bros. There's a good footballer at 17 million pounds, yeah. Vieira yes. 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yes, about, yes. mate. Fuck about. Yes, we all know that you're a great judge of talent. And of course, that was Benitez's last game back at his beloved Bernabeu. And with that, it is bye bye, Benitez. Hopefully, we will never see him in management again. After this some stint back in Spain, so awesome. I can't see any I can't see any club touching him with a ten foot pole. His best days are long gone. And uh, also, further complimenting your um, keen eye for talent, 
a certain Ukrainian winger was on the score sheet yesterday night. He certainly was. He certainly was. Played very well when he came on. I told you. For uh, Torres, Kevin De Bruyne, Salah, Chelsea Rowan people, my friend. It didn't just happen to Mudrak. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's Chelsea, but I would also like to believe that Pochettino has done a really good job in uh, bringing something like the best out of him. I, I take the point that a lot of people are making that he still hasn't quite justified the dosh that's been spent on him. But Hold on, bro, 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 bro. I was potential. watching. I was watching ESPN today, so maybe it's just English networks, and I'll name ESPN. Yeah, and there was three different fucking presenters on there. Do you know what they were saying? What were they saying? Well, I don't want to just agree with Danny AFC. I wish they had a cinema. But anyway, um, I'll be dropping Sterling for this fucking Ukrainian dude. And I had three out of three on that one. Wow. Oh, do you want me to clip it to you or something? It ain't fucking that. No, See, you don't. I never you don't found it that hard. To, I never was fell over like you. I'd be kicking Sterling the fuck out as well. I mean, that's that is harsh. That is Mate, hard. you've just said Benitez should never have another job in fucking England again. So, therefore, Raheem Sterling, <laughs> fuck off. And Mudrak plays all day long. Or even the kid from PS, uh, PSV. Him, Duke, you know I like him as well. Uh, he may do well at international level, Rafa Benitez. Has... Ooh. Not too sure about that, to be honest, John. I mean... Several people saying that Mourinho should perhaps consider managing Portugal. He might have to wait until Cristiano Ronaldo and Pepe retire. He might go back to fucking Chelsea in the summer, bro. Just saying. All I can, if that happens, then Chelsea really are gluttons for punishment. <laughs> he will sort we their are... defence. He will sort yeah, their defence. Yeah, we will. We know. We know. He'll sort their defence. He'll win a trophy. Everything will be seemingly yep, good. He'll win a trophy. And, and Graham then... Potter and the bastard Pochettino couldn't do it. Bottom line. Well, Potter was ill suited for the job. We know that. Pochettino's just come in. He's trying to repair the club in many ways. And um, look, as lowly as they are, I think. I'm actually willing to give, um, you know, give Pochettino a lot more credit than I can give Arteta because Arteta literally took two, um, one and a half seasons to supposedly hold on, hold on, hold on. repair the team. Pochettino has just come in this season. And yes, you know, they've had a bad start, but they are um, picking up momentum and they could finish higher in the table where they are than where they are now. It will be a stretch to say that they will qualify for Europe even via the Conference League. But at least, um, you know, if they can finish strong, then, then maybe they can have a good base for next season. Because bear in mind, in Arteta's first full season... Ali we who, uh, WB. Ali who, Ali who, Ali who. Who's Ali? Sorry, um, Manny, he's been bugging me for about three minutes. It can't be Layla, Ali. That would be ridiculous. It's not fucking Mohammed. Jojo, Ali? You think? <laughs> I said, but it's not, man. <laughs> who? Um, Ukraine Vault. Or maybe it's Ali G, better known as Sasha Baron Cohen. I, will, I won't going to clip that for a minute, but do you know what? I will now, because you know what? I like I like Mudrak. Um, what's he on about? Chelsea are, be um, are barely any better than they were last season. Well, they were I'll... absolutely awful under both Potter and Lampard combined. The decision yes. to sack Tuchel looks even more ridic looked even more ridiculous with every passing game. Brother, do you know what? They have invested with the 28 people he signed. Yeah? There's two of them that I can look to the Lord right now and say we can definitely make a profit on. One of them you don't even like, Manny. One of them's Oddie God. <laughs> and one of them's fucking Gabriel. There's not a single cunt in that team, 100%, that you can make money on. Lukonga, decent season at uh, Luton. You might shade the 70, oh, just over the 17.7 that Arteta made, uh, spent on him. Ben White, brothers Pep or Klopp, are not going to buy him for 60 million. Dead damn. Neither is any world class manager going to spend 60 million on Ramsdale and Rhea combined. Dead glad damn. You mentioned I'm glad you mentioned Ramsdale because it wasn't too long ago that he was supposedly the most valuable goalkeeper in the world. Sadly, people don't seem to realise that when you keep 
a supposedly valuable asset on the bench for so long, he loses value. Depreciate. Exactly. And hold on, what's Emil Smith Rowe doing right now? Losing what? He's not losing weight, is he? He's losing fucking value, my friend. Do you know what I mean? What's Thomas Party doing for you, my my friend, right now? And I promise you, what did I say? 89th minute he'll come on, yeah? If, if he fucking comes on. 89th minute. What the fuck is that? Are you mugging him off? Are you mugging Garner off? Or are you just mugging Danny AFCT off? AFC TV off? Do you know what I mean? If not the 89th minute, then the 119th minute, if it goes to extra time. Well, there you go. It. Whichever way you want to dress it, Thomas Party will come on in the 89th minute where he can't affect the fucking game. Simple as. Listen, I don't have to be a Premier League manager to tell you that's a fucking wanker decision. Bang. Uh, Pochettino is a bottle job. And the Yanks have ripped the art at Chelsea. Well, you have, uh, Connor, you mate, do. I wish, Yanks, about, I wish about Saudi the Arabian, I, agree I wish with the English Yanks. geezers, I wish anyone in the world would come and spend that money on Arsenal. But the thing is, Cam, money has got to be spent correct. Simple yep. as. Absolutely. Absolutely. You do not get rid of the best goalkeeper in the world for 17 million quid. Let me tell you what you don't do, Cam. Whether you're the manager or the owner of McDonald's, JD Sports, or fucking Cam's fucking electronics. Yeah? Cam's electronics is depending on this now. And you've just sold me a fucking World Cup winning number one fucking goalkeeper to fucking Villa for 17 million. And what have you gone and done, you little cunt? You went and spent 60 million quid on two goalkeepers that they, their left testicle isn't as good as fucking Martinez. Let's have it fucking right, ladies and gentlemen. Say it louder for those idiots who compliment Ryan Martinez. Ryan fucking Martinez Waters, and 20, 21 years old. He's a decent academy product. He's on the bench the other night. He bought Cedric on. Well, that's fucking planning for the future, isn't it, you little cunt? Pep and Klopp will do that. But hold on, hold on. He wouldn't bring on Anwari either. He brought on the fucking Moroccan Egyptian fucking great fucking Elneny. Fuck off. Fuck off. And, and on that note, it's back to the Emirates because fucking the teams are out. Million a huge to and then you go and spend £60 million on two goalkeepers. Well, fuck me, you're a genius. You persecuted <laughs> Ben Duzi at the club and then spent 17.7 on fucking Lakonga, you silly little cunt. And then you fucking loaned him to Luton. Wanker! So listen, when he addresses all of that, me and Arteta, jobless. We're fucking good. Yeah? Yeah. Couldn't have said it any better. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. So the best Arsenal keeper back... in the world. Now listen, this weren't any goalkeeper. This is a guy that wins World Cups with fucking Messi. 17 million. Fuck off. And anyone that wants to reply to that, fuck off. Fuck off. All right. All right. You've made your point. I completely Thank agree. So and on that note, it's back to the Emirates. We've got Arsenal on the pitch already. Raya clapping the fans. He goes back into the goal. Arsenal set to um, kick off this half, attacking from right to left. And we will see what they do. 45 minutes now stands between Arsenal and a potential place in the quarterfinals. Can they shake off those Portuguese demons or will the Dragons fight back and burn them to the ground? We shall see. As I would say, do be liking this video. Do be subscribing if you are new. The second half from the Emirates about to start, and it does. Odegaard passing it back to David Raya, who sends it forward. <coughs> uh, jumps over everyone, bounces over everyone, and Wendell tries to clear it and uh, ends up winning a throw off Bukayo Saka. So, it was a cagey start to the first half. A potentially cagey start to the second half. We're going to see which team asserts itself right now. If I, and I think um, Khan, Khan said it in the chat. We need a two-goal advantage to make sure that the tie is safe. And uh, certainly, an, certainly another goal now would really help. But at the moment, it's Porto on the attack down the left. Galeno, does he retrieve the ball? Yes, he does. Into the penalty area. And uh, Evan Nilsson is able to retrieve that. I think the Arsenal players are claiming an offside, but still passes it out. Uh, the play is not yet over. And uh, Galeno once again twisting Saliba all around. 
into the penalty area, but nobody on the end of that. Saka doesn't clear it well, though. It finds its way to Alan Varela. And I don't know if P um, Porto made a substitution because the number 11, Pepe, looked in extreme pain. I want to confirm that on the BBC. But um, at the moment, it's Pepe, the other one, who <coughs> sends it forward. Concesar retrieves it from the other Pepe, who is, in fact, back on the field. He is recovered. He is fine. No need to check BBC. And I know that... Uh, our dear Danny Boy will provide updates from the camp now as and when they happen. Thank you very much All indeed for that. Always. And always. Uh, Wendell passing it back to... Uh, actually, that's Otavio who passed it back to Costa. Another shot. Although it is a little bit more infrequent now. And it's Pepe this time who uh, sends it back before Havertz can try and uh, cause some problems. But uh, Odegaard running towards the uh, Portuguese defender and... The ball is cleared, but Arsenal win it back. And that should be a free kick to Arsenal, and it is. Jorginho is then tumbling. Come people, Jorginho yeah. as well with a short back and sides. Good old Georgie. Come, looks. I'm going to try and come, looks. All right, safe, dog. Come. Relax. Right. Yes, it's so Arsenal. A time. free kick to be taken. It's uh, Georgie who was standing over that, but it looks as though it's Saliba who will be taking it. A short pass to uh, Magalhaes. Who sends it forward, left-footed, and not very well. He concedes a throw. That was a poor pass from the uh, Arsenal centre half. Oh, God, and um, Porto doing really well, making sure they make something happen with the ball. Pepe <clears throat> to uh, Francisco Concesao, the coach's son. Into the penalty area, past Kivio, and. Uh, an Fuck ambitious that. attempt there by Evan Nielsen, but that was uh, high, wide, and not all handsome. Goal kick to Arsenal with 48 minutes gone on the clock. Manny, I'm listening to a combination of you and the crowd. So, yeah. I've given and, up. I'm yeah, a... but listen, but listen, the worst part is that when you hear the crowd, you know that Arsenal have scored. And that pretty much uh, puts me in the shade. But, hey, this is Danny <laughs> AFC TV. I'm just here as a guest. Bro, I can't no not celebrate goal. Arsenal scoring a fucking goal when I hear that going, let me tell you. <laughs> Give me a minute, check, Manny. I was just running around seeing if I could speed, uh, speed myself up. 48-30, 31, 32, 33. Yeah, and Evan Nilsson is on the ground. I think that bicycle kick took um, the wind out of his sails. Napoli have scored in the Camp Nou, guys. Napoli! It's Barcelona 2. Napoli 1. Let me see if it's Victor Osserman. Let me see who scored this. It could be the Georgian bloke, whose name I can barely spell. Kavislavislavislavislav. That guy. Well, I mean, I didn't read that, that but uh, you probably are on the pulse of that more than I am. No, it was Manny that scored. Romani. Manny scored. Thank you very much. There you go. Manny's in. Okay, um, and of course, we are back with action at the Emirates. Uh, Gabrielle retrieving the ball. And a short pass to uh, Benny Blanco. Saliba. Gabrielle. Magali on. sending it forward. But that is too far forward, and Trossard is not getting on the end of that. What a waste. Bastard, you see? It looks as though we could possibly be trying to bide our own time waiting for an opportunity. But uh, the BBC sport commentators have been saying that Porto have done a very good job stamping their authority on this game. And we are now coming up to the 50 minute mark. It is Arsenal 1, Porto 0 at the Emirates, but 1 all on yeah, aggregate. Arsenal. So whoever scores the next goal will lead the tie on aggregate and potentially have one foot in the quarterfinals. Hopefully that will be Arsenal. You know it. <laughs> but at the moment, it could be Concesau down the right, but Kivio wins it back from him and ends up winning a goal kick. Well done, son. Polish Come defender is, of course, course normally a centre-half by trade, but playing as a left-back tonight. I was worried about him being a square peg in a round hole, but he has uh, acquitted himself quite well. Kivio retrieving that from Jorginho, passing it back to Magalhaes. Passes it back to David Rea, who tries to send it long. Hoping to find Saka on the right, but instead finds the head of uh, Otavio, the defender. 
And it is with the uh, other defender, Pepe, who passes it back to Diego Costa. Come on, Arsenal, man. See, again, well, Manny, I need, a bit, I need a bit of urgency here, man. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. We've got to... Tr uh, I think maybe what we're trying to do now is take the sting out of the game, maybe beat Porto at their own game. Because bear in mind, if we win by two, we are safely through. There you go. Pretty and we cannot that. afford to win by one because that's no fun. Mate, and I to continue care. the ride, Mate. we don't want extra time. And uh, do we safe. want penalties? Absolutely not, please. That would scare the fuck out of me as well. Let's not have it wrong. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, David Ray is a pretty decent penalty stopper. But having said that, so is Diogo Costa. When is David Ray uh, save penalties? He saved one against uh, West Ham when we lost 2-0 at the Emirates. No, but I mean, like, in his career, like, has he had a major, like, he's never played Champions League football in France. Like, oh, has he played for Spain? Like, when is he yet to uh, face penalties? I'm, no, I was just asking a genuine question. Well, probably not a penalty shootout, but at least he has a de he might have a decent record of saving penalties from what I know. Certainly a lot better than Aaron Ramsdale. I could never forgive that sport, uh, forgive or forget the Sporting Lisbon debacle. And that goes out for a goal kick. Some relentless Arsenal pressure, but not leading to a goal down the left. And uh, once again, Porto have to try and clear their lines. But we're seeing a little bit of urgency now with Arsenal starting to press Porto a little bit and make them a little bit uncomfortable. So I like how we're showing a little bit more flexibility in our game plan and uh, forcing Porto into some pretty poor passes. But uh, credit to Porto, they are retrieving those passes well. And it's uh, Jean Mario who sends it to Concesau. Jean Mario is, in fact, overlapping now down the wing, but Concesau passes it back to his skipper, Pepe. And uh, it is with Alan Varela who passes it to Tavi. I think that was Wendell who sent it forward, hoping to find Galeno, but uh, Raya claims it and immediately throws it, almost bowling at cricket style to Declan Rice. And uh, Kiwi Lime Pie finding Georgie Porgy. Come on, Starboy Arsenal. just about keeps that in play, and he can run down the right. But he's got uh, yeah, he's got Ben White overlapping, but passes it in the centre to Jorginho, who's uh, attacked from behind. Fairly says the referee, so play on and uh, Porto give the ball back, and it is now with Leandro Trossard. And that is a dreadful challenge there from Francisco Concepcion. <coughs> is that going to be a booking? No. Nope. Uh, Clement Turpin says no booking, but that is a free kick. And I know it is pronounced Turpin in French, but we all know the story of Dick Turpin, the notorious highwayman. And that's why I said, I hope that this Turpin does not rob us of our place in the quarterfinals. Still early days <coughs> in the fucking game, I suppose. But again... You can always hear on a European night, like, go Anfield, man. You'll fucking hear noise, raw attention, urgency just from the crowd. Absolutely. Little... And I'll tell you what, <laughs> you'll never walk alone will send chills down your spine and put the fear in you more than North London forever. Believe you me. Oh, fuck me. I'm afraid to say. A nice weighted cross. Left foot into the penalty area from Ben White, but... Headed away by Jean Marie and um, cleared by Concesal, but only as far as Saliba. And that is intercepted quite brilliantly. And can Porto go on the attack through uh, Wendell? I think it is. Yes, they can. Odegaard sends him tumbling. And well, apparently it's a free kick to the Arsenal. Fucking damn right, I say. 55 minutes gone, 10 minutes gone in the second half. It is Arsenal 1, Porto 0, 1 1 on aggregate. One more goal for either team will put them halfway into the quarterfinals. Havertz trying to go through, but completely mucking himself up there. And this is the problem with Havertz. I mean, he, I, I, I accept that he has some great value as a target man, but when it comes to being a ball player and trying to show some skill, he stinks. He reeks. Poor home and away shit. Brentford home. Ooh, intercepted oh, there by Havertz and a possible of lackadaisical clearance there by Diogo Costa, which was uh, kicked into the leg of uh, Havertz. And out of nothing, Arsenal have a chance to try to attack. Well, it just goes to show that even Porto make their mistakes. And if we can punish their defensive mistakes, 
We could be home and dry. I know Khan was, you know, losing it, saying we are so fragile and spineless. But I'll tell you what, we could just find a way. 56 minutes on the clock. Corner to Arsenal. Uncle Ben to take it. Right footed, hoping to swing it in. Is that on the spot? I'm watching both games now, Manny. I'm watching a bit of Barcelona and Arsenal because I'm so far behind you and I can hear the crowd here anyway. Oh, Barcelona have almost made it 3-1. <laughs> on that note, the crowd have gone absolutely silent. Mate, you can hear a penny drop. Not a thing. And very nearly a goal for Arsenal, but headed away by the defence. It was a fine corner by Ben White aiming towards the near post, but the Porto defence doing their job, unlike several Premier League teams. Into the penalty area again, headed away. And Arsenal are now relentless in their attack. And I will credit Odegaard, he has been instrumental tonight, but he needs to keep up that intensity. Havertz now in the penalty area, acres of space! But a poor, poor attempt at a shot by Declan Rice, and Porto can clear their lines, but at the cost of a throw-in. Didn't really connect with that, Uncle Ben. But once again, another Arsenal throw. Kiwi line pie to take it. And it is with Trossard. And he wins another throw off Jao Mario. Or is that Come on, the, the Arsenal. Uh... Yep. Coming up, getting ever closer to the hour mark. If we can get a second goal. It's actually a corner, not a throw-in. So, Porto... The architects of their own potential downfall here, if they concede. <clears throat> Fermin and Cancelo have scored for Barcelona. Who's Fermin? <laughs> Bravs, I can hear the agitation in the crowd. Punched away by Diego Costa. Another fine corner by Declan Rice. He was able to get that to get that perfectly swinging right in at the goal, but credit to Costa, he did what he had to do. I'd like to see my goalkeepers confidently claim them and not have to punch them all the time. And one thing I can tell you about Diego Costa is that he is not necessarily the best when it comes to having to deal with high balls. Um, that was how... Um, I. Portugal found that out in the World Cup quarterfinals. And Nasri of Sevilla with the what proved to be the game winner in what was Cristiano Ronaldo's World Cup swan song. Well, Odegaard in the penalty area, but cleared away. Hacked away for a throw. Come on, Arsenal, man. You sound like Ian Rice. <laughs> oh, come on. Looks as though it's Benny Blanco with the throw. Back to Saliba. And that is Gabriel sending it forward left-footed. And uh, hoping to find Odegaard in the penalty area, but Benny Blanco's shot is, in a, is blocked for a throw. It is Blanco with the throw. Come on, Arsenal. Manny, would you be looking to make subs right about now? Like, what's, what's, what are you thinking? If we need a little bit of urgency, it will be difficult to... Um, uh, let me just um, take you through this piece of play. Georgie right now being attacked by Varela and Galeno, and Galeno nicks it off him for a throw. And uh, Porto once again having to uh, come back and defend, but Arsenal relentless. Maybe they could find a way through. Havertz and Rice in the penalty area. Blanco with the throw. Who does he aim for? Short to Georgie Porgy. Chip to the penalty area. And Starboy is offside as we cross the hour mark. It is Arsenal 1, Porto 0, 1-1 on aggregate. And to answer your question, um, it was Ramani, yeah, who scored. Yes, you're right, for Napoli. So, taking a look at the bench... Um, it's hard to think of a, uh, of any player who's really had a poor game. I think um, several of these players. But I wouldn't, bring, I wouldn't bring him off. I'm just saying he's been shit. <laughs> yeah, I think it. Yeah, AFC always noted that Wendell pretty much had him in his back pocket, really. But um, I'll tell you what, Trossard has looked very lively. Um, I certainly wouldn't want, wouldn't want to bring off either of the centre halves because I mean we're not uh, blessed with strength, uh, strength in depth strength in the defensive for... department. Havertz for Joe, um, Jesus, I suppose. 
I don't want to see Jesus coming on to Jorginho because that would really imbalance. Oh, no, 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 no. I said for for um, Havertz, for fuck's sake. That would be definitely an option. Yes, you're right. Jesus for Havertz. But the only problem is that that type of substitution will only be made in the 75th minute if we are in desperate need of a goal. As far as I'm concerned, it's anyone but Eddie and Ketia. Sadly, I don't think either of the Halen boys, Smithrow or Ketia, will come on. Um, ben White has looked pretty good tonight. Kivior might need a bit of a rest, perhaps. But I wouldn't want to bring on Zinchenko, so I'd bring on Tommy Asu ahead of Zinchenko for either of our two fullbacks. Tommy Asu comes on first. So hold on. Hold on. Thomas Party ain't fit, yeah? <laughs> Are you going to fling this game? I, I mean, like look, if, I, if either of jo if either Georgie or Uncle Ben need a rest, uh, our party animal should come on. Yeah, no, I was just saying about that. Not the best of passes from Costa, but it eventually finds Jao Murillo and a clumsy challenge there from Havertz on Jao Murillo, and that will be a Porto free kick. Taken quickly to, to uh, Pepe Aquino, hoping to find Galeno, short pass, but uh, Kivior sends him tumbling. I don't think the referee's... Oh, he has called for a foul, and that will be a free kick. And the Polish defender there pretty much um, caught cold, really. Shouts out to you, Jean Arby. It got a bit quiet in the place. Respect to you, my bro. I'm keeping my eye on Barcelona and Napoli. Uh, can't lie, it's been a bit more lively. And, Nap and Barcelona are actually locking up shop. They've brought on Andreas Christiansen and Romelu, the former Southampton midfielder. So they're totally locking up shop against um, Napoli now because Napoli have come right into the fucking game. Never would I see the day that Barca would sign a former Southampton player. How the mighty have fallen, eh? There you go. And he was quite a mainstay in the team until um, Mr. Man City popped up. I'll tell you what, though. Maybe this saint could prove to be a sinner for Napoli. And a saint for his own team. Uh, We've got Jao Murillo and Francisco Concesao standing over this free kick from the right. Will it be the left-footed Concesao or the right-footed uh, Jao Murillo? It is the left-footed Concesao. And I think he was trying to aim for the uh, top corner. In any case, I'm sure Ray would have had it covered. But it was high and not at all handsome. Arsenal goal kick. Uh, doesn't really find the teammate, but this pass from Odegaard does find Saka, who just about gets it, keeps it in play. One minute, man, I need to address that. I need to address this. I totally agree with you. This hasn't been Sleeper's best game, Craig. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is put Ben White there. That is the fucking solution, isn't it? Let's just drop Sleeper. Oh, boy. Benny Blanco Hold the, the put him on the bench. Let him go home and let him have a rest. And let's see how Arsenal get on. <laughs> Put Tommy or Ben White there, mate. I promise you, I'll see what happens. I'd sooner, have to I'd sooner have Tommy at centre-half because he's played centre-half for Japan. We all know how awful Ben White is as a central defender. I do not want to run the risk of having that happen again. No, 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 I'm just saying, saying for example, the guy's saying sleeve has been poor. I totally agree with him. I agree too. But um, there's still nothing I'll do about it because there's no one nowhere near the quality of him in the team. So I'd rather a 20% Saliba than 100% Ben White or Tommy going at centre-back. Bollocks. Yeah, Sorry, and uh, speaking of our defence, we very nearly let um, let one through, but eventually cleared our lines just in time. Galeno very nearly let him through. And now it's with Uncle Ben, who tried to start something down the left with Trossard. Trossard has the ball now, down the left. And not the best of crosses. Hoping to find someone outside the penalty area. It is with Jorginho now, who lumps it forward to Odegaard, heads it back to Benny Blanco on the right. Jorginho now coming into the centre, retrieves that ball. Odegaard takes it off him. Odegaard is so left-footed, it's crazy. Can't use his right foot for topping. Craig, I'd bring on Thomas Partey. I'll say I don't like him. And that will happen in, uh, between the 89th and the 91st minute, I reckon. Yeah, do, we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> At the moment, though, it is uh, Benny Blanco with the throw. Porto still having to clear their lines. Georgie Porgy out to Magalash. Saliba. Blanco. Chip to Saka, who doesn't really make much of it. And Galeno, is, but Saka ends up winning it, but um, illegally, according to the linesman, and that will be a Porto free kick. And clearly, the star boy seems to be fading, and he is not a happy chappy. 
Oh, well, who do you bring on instead of Saka? Nobody. You have to leave him on, mate. Not even Reece Nelson. On. Not even Reece Nelson. Nope. What instead of Saka? I personally wouldn't know. No matter how diabolical he's been. That is the bench strength we have. When you well, have. Yeah, the tempo Luce, is. Luce has got a lovely work rate. He loves to run around without scoring goals, so put him on the fucking wing. Get Jesus on the wing. I'd rather that than Nelson, I'm just saying. Yeah! Fucking fuck up! Fucking fucking loco! Loco! <laughs> yeah, Pepe against Havertz. And oh boy, I see that. Odegaard chipping it in, and we're 2 0 up. Fucking about! It's gone quiet though. What's this? VAR? What's going on, Manny? Nope. I think the referee might be disallowing it. There might be a foul, but we're going to see what happens. They've disallowed it. VAR checking it. I think oh, they're fuck. claiming that there's a foul. Oh boy. For a moment there, all was right with the world. We're going to take a look and see. Fuck about. Definitely, definitely not offside. Definitely not offside. Porto played him on there. And, uh, yeah, no foul. That has to be given. There's no foul there. I mean, was there... Oh, shut talking. Kai, Kai, Kai. How could you? Come on, man. And to, to think that you were talking about this bloke being a potential... Um, one and one and two goal scorer, and a yellow card has been issued. I believe it's to the Arsenal bench. And who's going to be the unlucky recipient of that card? For who, Cam? Who else oh. but Mikel Arteta? Clearly, he is absolutely angry with the decision. Oh, but look, done. don't blame the referee. He's signaling for VAR, but listen, there was a shirt tug there. The goal was rightly disallowed. And Mikel Arteta has just been booked for his sins. You naughty, naughty boy. Calm down, son. Calm down. And I say this because a little piece of trivia. I don't know if you know this. I might have mentioned this, but the bugger and I share the same birthday. For fuck's sake. And, of course, on my birthday, England are playing Belgium. Woohoo! So there will be Saka. Ramsdale may be on the bench. We'll see. But certainly no Benny Blanco. Oh, yes. Yeah, and right. another player who will be there, Uncle Ben himself, Declan Rice. Well, there's fuck all wrong with this goal, man. No. Cavett was tugging his shirt. It was rightly disallowed. I'm sorry. And so with about it's 21 minutes Pepe's to go. Pepe's about 61. He knows it, what, 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 what football's about, man. I don't care. You do not tug a person's shirt and hold him back. That was rightly disallowed. The referee was right. Arteta was wrong. And it means that Arsenal have to do it all over again. But maybe they could. Saka now. But uh, cut off by Wendell. Varela passes it to... Uh, not too sure who that is. But it's now with Fran Francisco Concesao. Three against three. Evan Ilsen. Concesao. Spilled by Amrea, but uh, Porto unable to score on the follow-up, and they have a corner, but I believe the offside flag has been raised anyway. Was there a foul, or was he offside? Fuck about he might have been offside. Fuck about. Yeah, yeah look as though Evan Nilsson just Don't mistimed this run. Evan Nilsson just mistimed his run, and... Uh, the chance went begging. So even if he had scored, it wouldn't have counted. 70 minutes gone, 20 minutes to go, plus stoppages until the uh, end of normal, end of uh, the second half. It is Arsenal 1, Porto nil at the Emirates, but one all on aggregate. The next goal could potentially make the tie safe. Hey, Manny, imagine people like Graham Soonis, Roy Keane, Patrick Vieira, uh, Vinnie Jones... None of these cunts have a career. They, well, they may as well just fuck off and go, well, like Vinnie Jones, go and make a film or something. What are you talking about? I mean, Graeme Souness and Roy Keane are both European Cup winners, for Pete's sake. 
no, no, no. I mean, I'm saying this, yeah, mate, mate, mate. If you yeah, can't yeah, allow yeah. that goal, yeah, where the fuck does Graham, Graham Soonis and fucking Roy Keane fucking play football? Bollocks. Mate. Football, football has changed. Football has changed. For me, maybe I've just been biased here, but that was weak. Yeah, and again, I'm, I'm saying people like Vinnie Jones, Graham Soonis, Roy Keane, Steve McMahon, Vinnie Jones, they can't fucking play football. Because they're that irrelevant was... now. The times have changed. It was a long time ago, you see. What was good in Graham Sunas's time wouldn't be good in even Roy Keane's time. And what was good in Roy Keane's time is not good today. And listen, Roy Keane is a knee-bashing thug who ended Erling Haaland's dad's career. Would Patrick Vieira be a good modern-day footballer? He'd have to cut out his fouls. But well, there you go. Had, I don't think had, Patrick Vieira is a modern-day footballer then. So Vieira is your average fucking Flamini. This is what we're saying then. But then here's the thing. I always believed that Vieira had so much more elegance to his game than Keane ever he did. He did have so much more elegance. But you know what? You can't take away his brute fuck you. If Lee Dixon gets fouled at right back, he's going to charge over there and kick the geezer on his bollocks. You oh, can't yeah. take the fucking line out of a fucking whatever. And uh, Pepe now getting booked. Uh, sort of jumping high for a foul there. The Portuguese... Uh, the Porto skipper jumping with Havertz and uh, bumping into him. Havertz now getting a taste of his own medicine. Shouts out to you, Claus. Boss man, what's going on? Got us for life. One nil. Yeah. I think we see quite a bit of... Uh, I'm not one to be, you know, um, to be too optimistic, but we are seeing a bit of negativity. I think what we're seeing now is an Arsenal team that is relentless and on the attack. And uh, we should score another goal. As I said, the next goal will make the tie safe because I do not see either team having the energy to try and come back and get the goal they need to make the, to, to put the tie all square again. But if Arsenal do go out, then Kai Havertz will look at that and say, you know what, I mucked up and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that is a shirt tug in the penalty area. It put Pepe off his stride. That is a good decision from the referee. And uh, headed behind by Saliba, who, as people have said, has not really been solid in the defence. Rising above Otavio, meeting it with his head, but it was on the top of his head. It was never going to be on target or trouble Diogo Costa. And that will be a goal kick. And Costa has also looked a little bit shaky tonight. And uh, both teams slightly equal in ball possession, 51 to 49 in favour of Arsenal. The uh, Gunners just shading it. But um, that shows you that Porto are not a team to mess about. But Magalai is doing some brilliant work there, winning the ball off uh, Pepe Aquino. And he's still trying to bulldoze his way through. But Porto finally put an end to his uh, nonsense, as it were. And uh, it is uh, the skipper, Pepe, who passes it back to Diogo Costa. And Diogo Costa will have to hurry and clear it because Odegaard was trying to run towards him. <coughs> and uh, there's a player on the floor. It looks as though it's Magalai clutching his left foot. Left ankle. Here we go. There we go. Come on, Arsenal, man. And uh, Consess out barging into him there in that melee. I don't think that tackle was seen. Okay, there you go. I skipped your comment. Uh, Mickey you taking, know. giving me a blue card. How dare you! <laughs> What a load of bollocks. Come on, man. Just, oh, come on. Oh, no. For fuck me sake. Don't do Still this showing to me. highlights of that goal from Trossard and the celebration, but there hasn't been too much to smile about. What could potentially have been a tie winning goal from Odegaard was chalked out for a rather stupid piece of play from Kai Havertz. Coming up to the 75 minute mark in the game, it is Arsenal 1, Porto 0. One all on aggregate. I still don't make that a foul. Seriously, I don't make that shit a foul, man. I don't know. Let me watch it again. Uh, not very well controlled by Evan Nielsen, and that will be a throw to the Arsenal. Good amount no. of uh, Brazilians, of course, playing in the... We're running out of ideas here, boys. But to be fair, so are Porto. I think every time they try to create something, we seem to have the... Uh, to be a good match for them. I don't know if we can necessarily afford to take the game into extra time, so we have to come up with something. But if Arteta's trying to plan for extra time, he's got to be careful because we all remember what happened last time it went to extra time. 
I think you need... definitely time to get, I'm going to say, Havertz off for Jesus. Yep. We need the and, Messiah. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't trust Vieira or Nelson. I don't know. Fuck. I, I don't know. And Evan Nelson there saying the referee should brandish a card. A shame that he didn't receive a card for those antics. You do not Shout try to, to the, ones, the referee. Costa sending it forward, too far forward. Raya gets it back. And uh, he is able to claim that and pass with his feet and pass that to Magalaish. I'll be real, you'll be able to watch it back. I didn't make it a foul, man. I kind of said, what would Vieira, Keane, Soonish, Steve McMahon, Nicole, anyone that put a tackle in their life, what would they do right now? Mate, tackles are one thing. Shirt pulling's another. Shirt pulling is blatant. There's no way you can put you can get around that. But anyway, Odegaard retrieving the ball from Saka, hoping to find um, Trossard, but intercepted well by João Mario. João Mario sending Pepe Aquino forward. Pepe Aquino hoping to find a teammate. He does, but held back. By Saliba, but the referee waves play on. I think he thought that the uh, player's attempt was a bit weak, and that should be a free kick to the Arsenal, and it is. Yui, I said at the start of the stream to Manny, he'd be brought on between the 89th and the 91st minute, regardless of the result. But wait, if it goes to ex but if if it goes to extra time. Does he give party the whole extra time then to play? I'm not too sure. So if Tommy's just come back, are you suggesting still party three weeks on the bench is not fit though? I think Thomas Party is a professional footballer that knows his mind, body and spirit. What's in the meantime, the, the other manager receives a yellow card. Consus out getting a booking there for protesting a decision. And that is definitely a free kick. And could we see another yellow card? Well, I'm going to have to keep track on uh, who's on a yellow card and who isn't. So uh, let me just go back to the BBC page and refresh it for a minute. But uh, Alan Varela there and Wendell sending him tumbling. And that will be, it is with Bukayo Saka now, who tries to chip it into the penalty area, but Contessao meets that with his head. And Pepe Aquino now, he may be small, but he does run very well. And uh, Porto are awarded the free kick because Aquino was upended by Jorginho. And... For future reference, the number 11 will Eugenio no longer be Pepe call. or even Pepe Aquino, but Aquino. And it's time Jorginho took a little break. He's put in a shift for 80 minutes almost, you know what I mean? Yeah, but no, bring we won't bring see Tom Barty. We will not see yeah. him. At the moment, uh, the only players to be on the booking are Pepe, the defender from Porto, and Saliba, the defender from Arsenal. No yellow cards to the players, but both managers have been booked. What a shock. Alan Varela, pass if back he, to Otavio. If he gave so much of a fuck about the, the, the players in the pitch, bros would be would be would be a lot better off. I'm telling you. Yeah, sending it long, it goes beyond uh, Kivio, and it's met by João Mario, who has to try to hook it back in, but he doesn't control it very well, and that will be a goal kick. And Raya getting the ball, hoping to take it quickly. It'll be a short pass to either Saliba or Gabriel. It is to Saliba. To Georgie. And uh, no substitutions from either team at this point. So it seems to me that both tip managers are planning for extra time, but maybe Consasau could have the edge. And a foul there on Declan Rice, Consasau committing that. This uh, little bloke has been quite lively, but also pretty aggressive with some of his tackling and fouls. And we are coming up to the 80-minute mark. It is 79 minutes, 55 seconds. And it is still Arsenal 1, Porto 0. 1-1 on aggregate. And, of course, there are now 10 minutes left, plus stoppages, of which I'm assuming there will be plenty. Gabriel passing back to Raya. Evan Ilsen trying to charge him, but Raya has that on control. Okay. Benny okay. Blanco sending it away. But he's not going to find Saka because when uh, Wendell gets on gets his head on that, Otavio heads that back to Diogo Costa, who instead of claiming it with his hands, opts to control it with his knee. And uh, Costa has to be careful because one poor attempted clearance hit Havertz on his knee and very nearly let Arsenal in. Guys, both, 
teams having two attempts on target. Uh, Arsenal have had ten attempts to Porto seven. Manny, we can Costa put seven. we can put extra time and everything right up our fucking bum cheeks. What I said was, he will not do the right by the bros. So you bring on Thomas Party now. The boy Jorginho is tired. He hasn't played that wonderful. And speaking He's of tired, there's an Arsenal player on the floor. It is none other than Kai Havertz, who was sent tumbling. Why the fuck uh, he no foul. Why is he off and... for Jesus? Well, I'll tell you what, come with the man, come with the hour, because Gabriel Jesus is, in fact, putting on his shirt. And we're going to find out who he will be replacing. It might very well be uh, the number 29 going off for our Messiah. At least we won't have Heaven on the bench in addition to Jay, uh, Jesus. Remember that fiasco? Bro, he's not allowed to play just if Arteta just feels, you know, just push him on. Worry. And uh, Gabriel heads that out for a throw. Could be time for Arsenal to make their substitution. And uh, Gabriel is, in fact, coming on. What, Tamworth wants on that? Go on, fucking Tamworth. They're going to win the league, Manny. They're about 100 oh, nice. points clear. Tamworth. Isn't that where Magic Man Merson ended his footballing career? I'm not fucking sure. I know some bastard makes fucking jacket potatoes down there. <laughs> Magic man. He was at Walsall. He was near there, Walsall. Did he go Walsall? Yes, he did after Portsmouth. But once again, as against Brentford, Gabriel comes on for Georgie Porgy. So Haberts is still going to stay there in the hope that he can repeat his exploits against Brentford. A fat lot of good that'll do. This Porto defence is a level above Brentford's defence. So Kiwi line by with the throw. Trossard meeting that, but not able to uh, get that to a teammate. But Arsenal do win it back brilliantly, and it's Odegaard right now. Chipping it into Saka in the penalty area. Saka has to cross it in and find a man. Passes it out to Odegaard. Through the legs of one defender, but not through another one. Porto still can't clear their lines. Is it Jesus? Brilliant save from Diogo Costa. I'm trying to work out where everyone's playing, Manny. I'm seeing more covers in the centre of mid, like he's better yeah. than Thomas Partey. It could very nearly have been a magnificent goal for the super sub had it gone through Costa's legs, but instead Costa making himself big. And uh, yes, he did actually play a game for Tamworth after leaving Walsall. Serious? Yep. Well, Left fuck me. In by Saka and the foul in the penalty that's area. It. And that's it. I fucking support Tamworth. That's it. We're all going to play for Tamworth now. That's it. Ma Magic Man's been up there. Bollocks. Yes, but he he only played one game and then played for Welsh Pool Town in 2012. He played for... Why did he um, play one game? Like, what did he just turn up one week and say, fuck it, let's have it? And then, I'll find well, out for you. He played for another club called um, Kero in Wales. And he also played two games for Hanworth Willer. Villa in uh, Hounslow in England. So let me look up the Tamworth stint. Yeah, he played oh. for. Um, yeah, the arrangement meant that just uh, just meant that until the end of the season, the majority of persons wait. Uh, hold on a minute, Odegaard, Saka down the right. Could there be a goal here? Punched out by Costa, and somehow that goes wide. Come on, Arsenal, man. We need this shit gift, gift wrap. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We could be the team that wins this. Straight out to Odegaard. And oh boy, his normally trusted left foot let him down there big time. Skewing that just wide. Going for finesse, but not direction. Hitting the turf. Costa was beaten hook, line and sinker. But sadly, it went on the other side of the goal. And I think Jesus was trying to get on the end of that. He could have diverted it in. But... It didn't happen. And Porto are making their first substitution of the night. The right back, How Mario, is going off, and it will be the number 15. Right. Jorge right. Sancho is coming off. So, Jorge Sanchez, number 15, who will be taking How Mario's place. How Mario has put in a bit of a shift at right back, as you would say, and with five minutes to go, the number 15 comes on, possibly to shore things up at the back and maybe prepare for extra time. Who knows? I'm still in shock that Paul Merson played for Tamworth. Fuck me. Yeah, so he played for Tamworth, but he didn't end his career there. And I will get back to him at the moment because Nico Gonzalez to Evan Nilsson down the left. And um, I believe uh, it, was, um, it was Wendell who was overlapping, but a poor pass there from Gonzalez and Arsenal retrieved the ball. Come on, man. Back to... Uh, 
It was Kivior who finds Trossard. Don't dilly-dally. Clear it out, boys. And uh, he finds uh, Declan Rice. It could very well be that Trossard ends up going back into the midfield, taking Jorginho's place. Saka. Odegaard. Much, much, much better than Thomas Partey. Barca 3-1, yeah? Who's got that? Go on, Yui. And by the way, oh, Merson only played just once for Tamworth in a 2-1 home loss to Halifax Town. Dropped to the bench for the following game, and he later announced his retirement from professional football as a player. But then, of course, came back to play in Wales and a few other clubs. And it is a corner for Arsenal. Apparently, um, that took a deflection off a Portuguese defender. Or a Porto defender, I should say. So, Saka. Left the guy off. that could be on a free transfer has scored for Barcelona. The guy that could be on a free in the summer, Lewandowski. We'll find out. But uh, it is Saka, left-footed. Hoping to swing it in. And he swings it right into Diogo Costa's hands. And Diogo Costa... Clears it out David Rea style and ends up finding Aquino, the number 11, who was sent tumbling by Declan Rice. I don't believe that'll be a free kick, but it is a throw in. Excellent tackle there from. Uh, and uh, Porto will make another substitution. Evan Ilsen will be coming off, and it will be the number nine, uh, Mehdi Taremi. Taremi? Yep. Wonderful. I've heard that name before. I want to refer yeah, to Yeah, man. The Moroccan striker is saying, don't worry, this old bastard, he's 31, he's got a goal in him, don't worry. Fucking he's not Moroccan, he's Iranian. And, oh, uh... Well, I didn't want to say what was it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. I get it. 81 caps for Iran and a member of their World Cup squads uh, from years gone by. Yep. Uh, 22 FIFA World Cup and 2018 FIFA World Cup. Twice an Asian Cup semi finalist with Iran in 2019 and this year in 2023. So maybe Taremi will find the target from this Porto throw. I don't know. Into the penalty area, but uh, Arsenal should clear that away, no problem. And Saka is sent tumbling, and that should be a free kick to Arsenal. Two minutes to go, plus stoppages. The next, goal, the next goal will win the tie for either side. If Porto equalise at the Emirates, they will win the tie on aggregate. If Arsenal to have a, take a two-goal lead, they win the tie 2-1 on aggregate. Look at Decker's goal, Mason. Yeah. So, Jorge Sanchez passing it back to Jogo Costa. And Costa sending it forward. Only as far as uh, Magalhaes, who heads it in the air. That was Saliba, rather, who headed it in the air. And it is uh, Saliba who sent it forward. A little bit of head tennis going on. First Pepe, then Havertz, and now uh, uh, Alan Varela. Otavio getting in on the act, and finally it gets ended. So whenever there's a consecutive sequence of headers, I call it head tennis. Bro. Or in this case, head volleyball. Or rather, head badminton, because it's only one going one way, and then coming back, one way, and then coming back. So far, Leandro Trossard's goal in the 41st minute is what separates the teams over here at the Emirates, but it levels the tie one all on aggregate, and you can cut the tension with a knife. I don't think the Emirates crowd wants extra time, and the Porto fans are in full voice. Ooh, these little prawny eating fuckers, bros, they can't even make fucking noise for me to let me know if there's a fucking corner. Bollocks. Shit. Well, come on. I mean, when Trossard scored, you could hear the noise, couldn't you? Mate, I'd like to congratulate you. Go to Anfield on a European night. From zero minute to the hundredth minute, there's fucking carnage. Okay? We've been through this. I agree with you. And, of course, we will find out how they do against Sparta Prague. No need to find out. They're 5-1 ahead after that huge first leg. That tie is done and dusted. But I'm sure their fans will want to raise the roof for Jurgen Klopp anyway. Will the fans raise the roof now? Kai Havertz, as we tick over to the 90 minutes, there will be three minutes of added on time. The next goal will win this tie. Cam, I'm going to tell you something. There's a couple of managers available in the summer. One is Jurgen Klopp. I don't give a fuck what he says about not managing England. And everyone's Becker fucking along, though. Cleared by Varela, and that will be a corner. What do you think? Klopp will not manage Arsenal. Let me tell you that right now. And who's the other one you said? Hold on, I said, but he's a little bit Arteta-ish. I said Alonso. He ain't got that much experience. But he will win a German league title. So I shouldn't call him Arteta. There you go. And he's had a far more successful playing career than his fellow Spaniard. 
Both of them actually. It actually does count a lot for me, Vieira, Henri, etc. In three corner, headed away. It doesn't to Arsenal fans. As far as Saka. It's back to Saka now from Odegaard. Into the penalty area, but nobody's going to be on the end of that, and that is disappointing. That will be a goal kick, and we cannot afford to waste the minutes like this. So, in a game like this, it's going to extra time. Which team has the greater stamina? Will it be the Dragons or will it be the Gunners? I don't know, bros. We've got a couple of players on the bench. I'd like to fucking think they could come on and do something. Not having Alonso. Well, I'll tell you what. After he wins his German league, and as Manny actually said, like Fabregas, a splendid footballer, an intelligent footballer. Like, he was intelligent, bros. Oh, he, he was. Knew. No doubt about it. He knew how to fuck man up in the midfield. The same way he knows how to put his fucking Bayer Leverkusen team out. To come and fuck up bigger teams. Like, oh, bro, they'll smack the shit out of us right now if this is Leverkusen. Yep. I mean, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even be close. Moment. By the time Fring Pong, and who's the geezer? The one from Benfica, the left back. By the time their left backs would have roasted the blood clot out of us, bros, we'll be fucking 3 0 down. Well, hopefully, we need to go to the Zaka holds it all together in the midfield. Bang. Wait, we're into the last minute of stoppage time. Trossard on the left finds Magalaish. Declan Rice, how we could do with a last-minute winner here. A last-second winner would do as well. As I've said, the next goal now will win this tie. <laughs> Uncle Ben. Kiwi Lime Pie. You take the port manager. Bros, Magalash. again, Alonso is available. Klopp is available. Why would Alonso be available when he could send Bayer Leverkusen into the Champions League and win the Bundesliga? It comes down to, yeah, when all his little bastards that win in the title, yeah, they're going, they're going to want to fuck off to Arsenal and Real Madrid. Alonso's going to be sat there playing with his fucking dick. So do you know what he's going to do? He's going to jump on the fucking plane and do a bit of it himself as well. Bollocks. Not everyone's like Arsene Wenger, bruv. We'll just sit there for 20 fucking two years and chill. Well, I'm not saying that Alonso will sit there for 22 years, but... Well, they're going to sit there, pass well, losing spring pong, yeah, Boniface, yeah. and whatever, that's one in the title this season. Chi -chi. And we could be adding one more minute to, to the time added on because there's a Porto player down in the penalty area. I believe um, Odegaard... Uh... If Real Madrid didn't win the league this year, Ancelotti would also be gone. Possible, be claim, for a, possible claim for a penalty there, maybe. But uh, it's funny how these fucking Bayern Munich. Oh, Tuchel's gone as well, guys. Funny Bayern Munich, Liverpool, Barcelona. None of them actually want our setup. But the problem is, I wouldn't and take Tuchel either. either. I rated huh? him highly after his Champions League and um, you know, Club World Cup, European Super Club exploits with Chelsea. But a Bayern Munich, I mean, so far he's been found wanting, horribly wanting. Very strange. I'm not saying I'd bring him to Arsenal, but yeah. Um, boy. And that is Alan Varela, who is down, clutching his hamstring. Um, if he isn't able, quite able to walk, I don't think he'll be on for the extra time period. And we have now gone into the fifth minute of time added on. We've already played four. And you can hear the Porto fans in full voice. Actually, I can't because... Uh, Hollow shit. Nobody in this chat should, after calling it a farmer's league like Liga in France. What, did I call the Bundesliga Farmers League or what? What's going Don't on know. here? Maybe it was me. It's certainly not the Premier I might have, I didn't call it a Farmers League. It's definitely not the fucking Premier League. I'll, get, I'll tell you that fucking a hundred million times over. You can go, go and ask fucking Saeed Kalaznach. You can go and ask Granite Xhaka. <laughs> I mean, fucking around in the Bundesliga is not the same as fucking around in the fucking Premier League. You could also ask Aubameyang how many fucking... Well, it looks as though Alan Varela before. might be going off. I think as he's done his hamstring, the stretch has been um, brought out, so that's another two minutes of time added on. And the game's being dragged on for a great deal more time, but we might possibly have time for one more chance. Remember, people, the next goal in the next few seconds available will win this tie. Not you, Manny. So it's clearly me. What did I say? It was well, me. Fair enough. Ooh, I have to be careful. Whenever my uh, decoder goes into standby mode, I have to make sure I have my remote control at the ready. 
Oh, you're saying, oh, I get it now. Go on, you eat. You eat, that's why I fucking love you, inshallah. In Adu Gule. We matched it for Ahmed the other day, I trust. But, um, yeah, bros. Go on to Arteta to go and fucking win a league with Bayer Leverkusen. Go on to do it with Real Batiste. Ain't fucking happening, mate. Girona. Girona. He ain't going to make Girona punch above their weights either. With what we've just said, my little pretty the left winger. My pretty one. When you're going to win the league, Girona. Remember that song? Of course. Who's world class, bros? We're not talking about art. Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about here? Yeah, and uh, there is a change confirmed. Alonso. Uh, You're talking about Alonso. I didn't say he's world class. He's better than fucking Otto. No, but he was replying to Yuri's comment about how um, uh, Alonso was able to beat Bayern to a Bundesliga title. And Alan Varela has gone off, so it will be Marco Gruic, number eight, who will be coming on. Gruic, I think. And we are we played six minutes and forty seconds of um, time added on. This probably will be the last chance as Raya comes halfway up his own half to send that kick long, hoping to find one of Trossard or Havertz. Ends up finding. And they lost the game in the Europe, in the German Cup. They're fucking. They're they they could do a fucking Arsenal here, brothers of Wenger. Do you know what I mean? But wait a minute, wait a minute. Porto down the right. The number nine, That's Karemi, receiving it from Concesao. Back with Concesao into the penalty area. But uh, Arsenal should be able to deal with that. I think they're claiming a penalty, but uh, the referee's not having any of it. I believe VAR is being used bro, in Europe. And Concesao I'll tell you, couldn't go to Scotland and be undefeated, bro. Like, he couldn't go to Wales and be undefeated. Like, given the Real Madrid so, manager job. Looks as though Karemi might have been Offside, although I don't know why it took so long. You. It would have taken so long for the referee to raise his flag. Yep. I promise you. Sending it in, claiming a handball, but I think the referee blew the whistle for the offside. So I think Arsenal will. In fact, that is it. That's it. The 90 Anna. minutes are over. We are into extra time, people. Oh, boy. Well, I did say it would go to extra time. Oh, buy it. Well, Harry Kane has broke every league, there is uh, every record there is to in Germany. That's over Lewandowski. That's over someone else as well, Manny. Who am I forgetting? Thomas many, Muller, many stars. There's about three people. He smashed all their records apart. So it ain't for the luck, lack of fucking Harry Kane's goals that they're not doing well. I will swear to God and tell you that. Loco. But for the second year in succession, our European adventure in the round of 16 goes to extra time. Porto have made some substitutions. They brought on Jorge Sanchez. They brought on Gruic. They brought on Taremi. We've only made the one substitution. The Messiah on for Georgie Porgy. Havertz is still on the field. I repeat, Kai Havertz is still on the field. Thomas Party is still not playing football. I repeat, Thomas Party is still not playing football. There goes the 89th and the 91st minute, by the way, Manny. Sorry to well, say, but Danny is always right. So which minute should we say now? 128th, I'm going to go now, Manny. <laughs> I'm going one, is... two, eight. Where are you going? Because I was right the first time, so I'd, I'd be really pissed off if you disagreed with me. So I'm going to go to 128th minute. He'll bring on Thomas Party. Where are you going, Manny? 119th. Maybe he'll be brought on for penalties. Mate, if you don't trust him to fucking bring... Mate, if you don't trust the geezer to fucking run around... You know, I wouldn't trust the cunt to take a penalty for you. But, since when is winning the Bundesliga being your world class? I didn't say he's world class. I said he was a world class football. Me, personally, I said he was a world class football. Much better than Arteta. Remember, Arteta didn't even win a cap for Spain. So, I'm just saying... He was very smart as a footballer. He had to control. Like Declan, like Declan Rice will be a good manager. He'll know how to fucking get his troops in, get 11 geezers organised, like men, not fucking Vieiras, not everyone else that's fucking around. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just taking a look at the replay of the disallowed Odegaard goal, I'm sorry, but Kai no has sure. to hold his hand up and say, I, I'm mucked up. That was absolutely awful. PSG, bro, it's really hard for them to be world class. I'm going to answer this for you very intelligently. They play Wait, listen, not um, one week. I need to go they and get some Lil. water. Yeah, okay, go on, mate. They play, uh, 
They play I'm Lil. Just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I want to go they get play some water. I'll, As Phil I'm would gonna... say, they play nonce. Sorry, yes, mate. I'll get some water and I'll be right back. No problem. But uh, yeah, Cam, I'm gonna answer that simply. They play nonce. As Phil would say, they play Lil. They play. What is their hard games in a season? Is Marseille a tough game for them? With all their superstars? I'm not convinced. So who the who the fuck is the second best? UA! Who's the second best team in France? Because Cam is not getting this. This is why PSG can't be brilliant. Now, at least he's punching above his weight, bros. Because Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich should be winning that league over him. And that's a fucking fact. And I hope you're still here. You're not upset and pissed off or anything. And go, oh, Danny's right again. I'm always right. But, bro, he's punching well above his weight, you tall motherfucker. Yeah? Borussia Dortmund, Royce, Sancho. Yeah? Bayern Munich, Kingsley Common, Leroy Sane, Harry fucking Kane, Moosey fucking R fucking La. Okay, yeah. back, we're, about, we're about to kick off. Arsenal are about to kick off, attacking from left to right this time. I think uh, whoever won the toss obviously decided for a change of end. That's the only so. point. No one's taking the piss. That's the only point here, brother. He's punching above his weight in Germany. He's not expected to win the league over fucking Bayern fucking München. Yeah? Or fucking Borussia fucking Dortmund. Speaking of Dortmund, they're playing PSV tomorrow night. Yeah, and if Alonso is in charge, they'll definitely win. That's what I'm saying. But yep. I'm not saying he's world class. <laughs> right, about to kick off. Martin Odegaard in the centre. And uh, will this be a back pass to David Raya or a short one back to one of the defenders? We'll find out. Bro, Bayern Munich win Champions Arsenal need League. to make some sub that, that was a silly statement from Cam because Bayern Munich win Champions League. Bayern Munich go further than Arsenal year in, year out in Champions League. So, But wait a minute. Let's get back to the action. I think we're about to start kick off any minute now. Any second now, rather. And yes, Odegaard passes it back to David Rea. Rea hopes to send it long. Does he find a man? Hoping to find King Kai. Kai heads it. And everyone misses it, and Taremi hacks it away. And uh, Raya once again comes halfway up the field to meet that and pass it to Magalaish. Leverkusen shouldn't win the German Bundesliga, bros. I'm not quite saying it's a Leicester, but Leverkusen shouldn't win Blanco, the Blanco, Magalaish. A feisty debate going on in the chat from the sounds of it. We're into extra time. It is still Arsenal 1, Porto 0, 1 all on aggregate. So at least there's a bit more breathing room for both teams. Um, more time. Come on, for fuck's sake. Yes. Exactly, bro. Arsenal. This is what I'm saying, mate. And that's what I'm saying. And Nick Nat, you don't even usually agree with me. That's what I'm saying. Through the defender's legs from Saka. Hey, Sue's in the penalty area. Trying to get past Wendell. And that is cleared away. Will that be a corner? Will that be a throw? It will be a throw. And Jesus having his chance there to write his name in lights, but not quite taking it. Okay, yeah, Here's with Blanco, good. though. Blanco to Odegaard. Sending it forward on the, on the right. White, Hold on. Money, 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 money. Yeah? Do you want fucking Union 1880-6 to win the fucking German Bundesliga? Like, Nick Nack, I'm, I'm, I'm only addressing you here. If you can't acknowledge that Alonso, on beaten all season in Europe, German Cup, and every other fucking thing that goes along with it, mate, do you know what I mean? Harry Kane scoring goals for fun. I and, find this uh, such a silly comment, but I love you. I find Otavio silly. there being given a lot of trouble by Saka and Jesus. Saka no, doing brutally to get the ball, face. but... He ends up uh, not able to control it, and that'll, that'll be out for a goal kick. And so the prospect of uh, Bukayo Saka playing all 120 minutes doesn't fill me with confidence, but I guess Arteta might need him to take a penalty in case things go wrong. Otavio now starting to uh, limp a little bit. And it is with Diogo Costa, who will send it long, quite high. 
It's met by King Kai. Grujic heads it. And it is I with mean, Taremi now. And not the best of the passes from Taremi. But uh, Nico Gonzalez um, rescues the situation. It is passed back to Diogo Costa. Yeah, listen. Let's let's stop the name calling in the chat. All right. Let's agree to disagree. I don't know which one name calling. Me, I'm not name calling here, uh, Manny. Not you, I'm mate. Saying. I'm talking to you, Ian Carney. All right. Okay. All David, the chat uh, I'm actually just having a debate here with man. I don't get where Alonso hasn't had a good season, bro. That's it. But anyway, we'll drop. Let's drop it for a minute. We have got fucking something else to do it, but. And who said that we were 85% to qualify? We haven't won a single home knockout tie in Europe under Arteta. There you go. Manny, thank you so much. Because I was wondering how to answer this as well. That's why I left it there. I was wondering how to dignify that of a response, to be honest with you. Olympia yeah, Kyle, um... yes, fucking V. Fuck about, bruv. Clock done. Well, Rafa Benitez wouldn't do that. Fuck yeah, about. I mean... Yeah, but uh, that was awesome. home. I mean, we were beaten twice by Olympiacos in successive seasons. And, of course, we drew sport work to Sporting Lisbon and lost the tie on penalties. What, what does Pep do when he sees Olympiacos come on? He brings up all the Oscar bobs and every other bob you've ever seen in your life. Because Olympiacos are bollocks. Do you know what I mean? With no and disrespect because... to fucking Greece or Olympiacos. They're shit. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, they lost in the Conference League to Maccabi... Uh, Tel Aviv, Maccabi, oh, Maccabi what? Tel Aviv, an Israeli team. And guess yeah, who's well, their head coach? Don't, I don't former, like them. Guess who's their coach? Former Spurs and Republic of Ireland striker Robbie Keane. Are you fucking me about? Look it up and see, mate. What a little pagan he is. <laughs> What's he doing out there? Wanker! I swear he's meant to be fucking Irish. That's it, Cam. Uh, that's the exchange book who's uh, probably... Right, free generally. kick for Arsenal. Odegaard to possibly take this. Left foot, hoping to swing it in, hoping to find a man. Or could it be... It is Odegaard. Doesn't find a man. It is, um, in fact, hacked away eventually after Jesus and Saka tried to get at it. But it's still an Arsenal throw. Odegaard with the throw this time. All the way back to Saliba. Deckers. I think Uncle Ben's a bit disrespectful, really. Although, with his wisdom, he could very well be an uncle. Bros, who are they going to get raided because... for? Klopp or Pep doesn't buy any of these little cunts on that pitch there. Who are they getting raided for? Who? Who the fuck are they getting raided for? Sorry, there you go. I'm going against my own brother, Yui. Who the fuck are these little wankers getting raided for? They're shit. They could, be raided, but they could be raided by some other big European clubs. I mean, Francisco Concesau. Real Zaragoza, Piano, Real Betis. Okay. Atlanta. Saliba, shipping it to Asa, Ben White. Asulo. And that will be an Arsenal throw. Wendell not happy with the decision. So, uh, almost six minutes gone in the first half of extra time. It is still Arsenal 1, Porto 0, 1 1 on aggregate. I do not want to see this game go to penalties. But I predict it might, and we might sneak through. I hope it happens. I do not want to jinx this. Arsenal throw. Hey, fuck the market. It's it's eleven geezers versus eleven geezers, yeah. I still don't know which Porto player I take to Arsenal. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't mind that number ten, Conceição. He's speedy, okay, he but he also has some good Is he skills. better than Odegaard, pound for pound? Is he better than Havertz? Like we're talking over a hundred million pounds of investment here, bro. And then you got Emil Smith Rowe. Then you got Vieira. Then you got the LT fucking A fucking Trossard. Well, how many attacking of... midfielders do we fucking need, Manny? Well, we're going to find out in a minute. But it is a corner to Arsenal. Bakayo Saka to take Fuck. it left footed, and uh, hopefully we'll hear some noise from the stadium when we score. I'm counting on you, Danny. Now. Sorry, Manny, what did you say? I was reading that to myself slowly because Cam's obviously pissed off. I was reading it slowly. I don't want to make a mistake on it. Go on. Corner taken. Headed away fairly comfortably. And uh, once again, Porto can clear their lines. And that is a dreadful foul there from Odegaard. And uh, if you're preventing... talking about the crowd, yeah, the LTA will let me know if we score. Don't you worry. The LTA well, will isn't a foul. The referee waves play on. But, um, you know, the Porto guy, I think it was uh, Aquino who had the ball, was sent flying there. But some great work down the left by you. Gabriel Jesus. Sadly, not quite able to control the ball, and that will be a Porto goal kick. Manny, Manny, Manny. 
Hold on. We were talking about this earlier, and you said Ray was decent at saving penalties. I asked you one question. Which big game has he played in his life? So I'm going to ask it to my, my very close brother, Yui. Which big game has Ray played to save a penalty in, bruvs? He ain't played no Champions League. He ain't played for Spain. He ain't played for fucking no one. He played for Brentford like Ivan fucking Tony, bro. I will take a look for the penalty stats courtesy of Transfer Mart. But it looks as though Porto are making a double substitution. And bear in mind that now that we are into extra time, teams can make up to six substitutions. So already we see Sergio Concesao showing a lot and of... And Danny was right. Thomas Wilder. Party wouldn't come on. Where's Thomas Party? Is he not well, going as... no, He's still on fit, yeah? He's on fit now, yeah? Are we no, still going to run with the eight fit? Forget, forget about Thomas Party. We've only made the one substitution... And we still haven't brought anyone on in extra time. I mean, what the hell is Arteta playing at? Is he taking the Mickey? Or the Mikel, so to speak? His name's Michael, bros. His name's Michael, Arteta. His name's Michael. Right, so I've got some penalty stats over here. Oh, for God's sake, I'm sick of this stuff. Um... I don't score many goals. It's because they ain't got many players that you'd fucking buy off them, mate. Tell me one attacking player you'd okay, buy off I them. Stand, I, stand, buy I, stand off them. I stand corrected. Um, he has, in fact, played in the championship playoffs and saved a penalty there. with. Um, hey, fuck me, we're safe. Fucking no. He's fucking played in the championship. Hey, hey. We're fucking... Hey, bring on these penalties. We're safe. Would you say championship playoff, yeah? Fuck me, 120 million quid it is to get into the Premier League. We're fucking saved. Yeah, fuck off. Not you, Manny, by the way, but just fuck off. Yeah, go on. Please tell me the stats, because I'm, I'm thrilled. It, it's turning me on hearing them. Yeah, listen, I might stand corrected. He doesn't really have the best record in penalties, but, He's I mean, if you want a big when, game, when he, he has... Face a penalty that's of importance. Well, it is a championship playoff. It is important. That's I would decently say. important still. It's not Champions League, bro. I'm sorry. But then, you know, look, he, he's got a better record. Of... Well, what exactly has Ramsdale done then? I mean, bro, we I all don't know what happened about Ramsdale. Year. I'm just not saying this bastard's the savior. I just I just asked a simple question. What the fuck has he done in his career to, say, to tell me that he can save penalties? Okay, well? then people, I'm going to say this right now. I stand corrected. Um, I shouldn't have said Ray is good at saving penalties. He did save one penalty from Side Ben Rama wow. when we lost at home to West Ham, but not enough to fill me with confidence. And at the other end, Taremi. Fucking proper little Alan there, isn't it? it? Proper, proper little Kepa there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> proper little Allison there. Fucking Peter Schmeichel. Fuck it. We've got this, boys. Right. Anyway, where okay, are we? Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, Porto about to make a double <laughs> substitution. Taremi there thinking he had won a corner, but I think the flag went up for an offside. So yeah, we've now played exactly right 10 minutes of extra time, 100 minutes on the clock. And uh, it's the Canadian Ooh. Stephen Estacchio coming on for Nico Gonzalez. And, uh, and Thomas Party still the... isn't good enough to play football. These are Porto substitutions, mate. I know what they are, bros. I'm still making and, uh, the num Thomas And the number 10, is... Francisco Concesao coming off for Gonzalo. Albuquerque Borges. So, I know what you're doing, Manny, by the way, bro. Uh, five no, minutes. Is... To... Sorry, go ahead. Brother, I couldn't bring off Saka because there is no Martinelli. You can't rely on Jesus and fucking have us to score. I'm so sorry. Not in big games. They're both cunts. So you got to leave that boy on. I just hope he isn't forced to take a penalty. There you go. Oh, I see every side of a fucking conversation. I'm just a disagreed with you. We over fucking, what was it, Ray right. and some other bastard. If, if it does make you feel any better, Gabriel Martinelli, who missed that penalty, which uh, sent us out, effectively, is not in the squad tonight. The other players who took their penalties and scored are all, um, I mean, at least most of them are in. There I you have go. to find out. There you go, Nick Knack. So the geezer saved one penalty in his life. Oof. Fuck me, let's little play for penalties. The geezer's a cunt, just like Ramsdale. Can we please drop the fucking goalkeeper? Like, we've, we've sold a fucking World Cup winner, 17 million quid. Can we please stop talking about these 60 million pound bastards? I was always right about, I'm right about every, sorry, I don't want to big myself up, but 
Bruv? Yeah, and that... Arsenal could, lost. Arsenal could be 3-0 the down. That, that, now you've just right pretty much the proven that all these people... Who were could come and, if Declan Rice was to drop down right now of cardiac arrest, God forbid, do you know what he'll do? Do you know what he'll do? He'll bring on Emil Smith Road. He'll bring on Emil fucking Smith fucking Road. Not that I don't like the little hay lender. But you don't play replace fucking right. Do you get what I'm going with this, yeah? Yes, I get where you're going with this. And we both know, I'm, we all know right now, whether you all fucking hate me or not, we all know I'm fucking right. Because I told Manny at the start of the stream, 89 for 91st minute party will come on. Yeah? Extra time? I said 128. Let's see if we're, right, we're on 101. <laughs> Danny! Sorry, just saying. Because you know what? Because Arteta is a fucking cunt. And he doesn't get, actually give a fuck. Where Alonso does. That's why he's undefeated in fucking Germany. Nick Nack, you fuck. That's why he's undefeated. Because he would, he'll bring in exactly if, if exactly the guy that you want to sit there and stand like Declan Rice, do it. But then have your fullbacks going forward. He's got fucking keyboard in, huh? He's more fucking confused than fucking Donald Duck. What is he? More pissed off because he buys his bits of a fucking whatever geezer. Do you know what I mean? Okay. He's more fucking confused than Trump the cunt. Stacchio now passing back to Diogo Costa. Stacchio, of course, a Canadian international, a part of their World Cup squad in 2002. Definitely of Portuguese blood, which is why he's playing in the Portuguese Premier League. Otavio, a short pass to Wendell. And... Uh, Porto win a throw off Kai Havertz into the last minute of uh, only you, the only you, yeah, first Cam. half of extra only time. Only Cam said those words. Arteta is yeah, clueless. I'm not spitting I've my ball back years. over the wanker right now. And mate, listen, Khan, I've been, you know, I've had my opinions really, 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 you know, hardened on Arteta, basically. With every early, Europa, uh, early European exit, every poor performance. Yeah, I'm going to stop all of you right now. He was not better than Tierney. Just thought I'd throw that out there randomly. Sorry, watch an Arsenal game, yeah. Tierney is not a better, uh, is not a shit of football than, than he was. A uh, left back. Yeah, certainly a better left back than, than Zinchenko who's coming on. And oh my goodness. What, no time to party? No, it's. Uh, oh, of course not. Come on, tell me who the fuck it is. Go on. Zinchenko who's coming on for QO, yeah. I think. And the worst yeah. part is, Go it's on. Eddie and Katia. Porto's defence will not you know be what? in trouble yeah. with a catty in the room. fucking wankers thinks he fucking... Oh, well, up. Let me put up my fucking... I'm going to put... No, let me not do that. I'll put up my bits on the stream. Fucking blow that, innit? Fuck off. I swear, whatever happens, this um, uh, this call-in show with Del Boy will be an absolute belter. Yeah, I'm coming still, to fuck if... it. I'll get in the comments. Oh, Arteta, you... Oh, God, don't start me. Arteta, you I can there. already see what's happening now. Who's coming on? No Thomas Barty. <laughs> no, it's Zinchenko and Eddie and Ketia. Go you know figure. Fuck <laughs> it. Go on, lose your cunts. Fuck it. Watch this. I'll fucking row with these super fans who will fucking 12 o'clock tomorrow night. I won't even sleep. Cunts. I'll go on Twitter Otavio, all night. sending it forward. 10 seconds fucking left to go in the first half of extra time. Throw to Porto. Could do, but we're not gonna. Sorry, sorry, Manny. No, we really no. could do, bro. But it, can we try and dust off the, the greats of FC Porto? Who are they? Go on, name me three of their players. Yeah, yeah, epic fail. Shh, you've already, you've already failed. You took too long already. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> sorry, Manny. Well, but Joe, if you've got to deal with people the way it's got to be dealt with. He doesn't even know fucking one of their players. Fuck off. Um... Maybe bring Ramsdorf. No, no, no. That is not the answer. You buy one good goalkeeper and don't sell a World Cup winner to Aston Villa for 17 million. That was my only point. Don't get it twisted. Yeah? Exactly. You don't sell the best goalkeeper in the world and then bring in two wankers. That's my only point. Yeah. And um, people talk about how we reinvest the money smartly. How many? How many penalties we're going to do this statistically? How many penalties does Ram still save? I don't care. They're both fucking average goalkeepers, mate. Does it matter? None of them is Allenson. None of them is Seaman. None of them is fucking Schmeichel. What does it matter? And it costs 16 mil between them. What the fuck is your point? Why Ram still saved one battle? away at Torquay back in 2019. Fuck me. We're fucking saved. Is that what you want fucking money to say, 
saves. He fucking saves a way for fucking Stoke a fucking penalty at fucking Torquay. Yay! To be fair, I don't think he was at Stoke in 2019. I know he's a Stoke boy, but I don't think he's ever played for the pub. Bro, do you get my fucking point? Yes, I get you. Thank you very point. fucking much. You're there welcome, you very flipping fucking much. Fucking Stoke me, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Stoke me. I'm sorry for stoking the anger within you. Thank you so much. Bro, I'm the lord of this. Oh, 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 and you on your wisdom. Trust, God. Give me the your wisdom, Craig. The man can't even trap a freaking ball. Fucking in Kettia before Thomas' party. Fuck off. Um, nah, bro. In Kettia's on. What are you talking about? We're fucking saved. He is clueless. He's just made two subs now at the end of the first half of extra time. Second half of extra time. Porto about to kick off. Hold on. So hold on. Are you telling me it's 200 grand a week? You shouldn't trust, trust Thomas Pye. Bro, just say it properly. Dan, you're right. You are right on the first minute of your stream. You're right in the 45th minute. You're right in the 80th minute. You're right in the 90th. And we're fucking bang on in extra time and you're still right. Mate, I'll tell you as a can. Please don't justify these Yeah, confirm. Yaku Kivio is off for Zinchenko and a hopeful pass. Just say it the way it is, mate. It proves to be hopeless. I'm begging you Eddie and Ketty. If we lose this, we're getting done by City between, I don't know, I don't want to be arsed, but between two and four, you know what I mean? And that's with a zero in the end. Yep, deja vu. Last season, we went out to Sporting Lisbon and got done hold by Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, Manny, 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 Manny. This time last year, mate, we were top by nine points. With 28 yep. games gone this time last year, we were top by nine points. Hey, we were. But what did... Most of you fucking bastards hero do. I'm going to take off my cape and mask. Watch this. I'm going to buy Trossard. And what happened? What happened? I'm going to buy Jorginho. What happened? So don't tell me in the position we're in, yeah? Because this time last year, we're a fucking nine points clear of every cut. Yeah? Fuck about Fuck about it. Uh, but a lot of people will say that this time last year we didn't have Declan Rice. Bro, Declan Rice is a game changer in the in the sense of yes, he man manages a game. There's a bro, yes, he can do it better than probably party. I get you. But but then there's fucking Keir Havertz, bros. Where's your fucking striker, mate? So. I wonder whatever happened to that prediction of yours being a one and two goal striker. He could still be. Don't get me wrong. Whoa, but the whoa, problem whoa, 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 whoa. is, I compared him. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't even compare him to Ivan Tony, my friend. I compared Thank him to you. two bastards we had at the club. I agree. And two bastards at the club only. That. Yeah. So if you want to yeah. statistically bamboozle me and tell me how good Enketia and Jesus is, then please. And Porto with a corner. Zinchenko oh, but, 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 Manny, Manny. the ball. Yeah. I'll hold, you, I'll hold you to that one, by the way. Remember, Abamian has scored more fucking Europa League goals than fucking Nketiah has scored in his career. But I know. So, yeah, you could. I can justify what I said all day long. Aubameyang because, bro, you play Brentford. One, you, you might play Brentford and West Ham in them five games. He might get one or two in them games. Right. I'm not saying against so, Liverpool, Man City or fucking Everton. He scores. Wenzel to take the corner. And now, once again, at the stage where the next goal will win this. Wendell, left footed, swing in. And Raya catches it. Only just, but he catches it. And shakes off Taremi and hopes to send it long. It goes high, doesn't go quite as long as he had hoped. It does meet the head of Kai Havertz, but Jorge Sanchez is on the end of that. And Sanchez has now gone to the left of all places. Not too sure why, with Wendell on the opposite side. Grich. And that is very well met by Galeno. Now into the penalty area. He's shake, trying to shake off Saliba, but an unfortunate slip, and that will be an Arsenal goal kick. What's this? Never gone out, bruv. Keep that line. I predicted that, that it would finish 2 1 on the night, and it would go to penalties. 
It could go to penalties, but so much for the 2-1 prediction. I don't see either team having the urgency to score, quite frankly. Maybe Porto marginally have it, but uh, are Arsenal just playing for penalties? I don't know. These fans look happier right now. Porto's or Arsenal? Porto's, definitely. You can hear them uh, yeah, exactly. shouting. And... Bro, bro, bro. Again, I'm that far from the stadium. I know what I can hear. There's no ignorance. I know what the fuck I can hear, innit? And I don't understand Saka. what the fuck they're saying. Up against Wendell. So far, Wendell has had the better of Saka. Saka passes it to Odegaard in the penalty area. And Katia, Saka blocked. Manny, I might change it. He might not come on at all. Is it 1 2 8 or he won't come on at all? Well, you mean 1 18, right? Because I'm not sure that we're going to have that many minutes of stoppage time at the end of the oh. uh, second half of extra time. If he does come on, Arteta will bring him on for a penalty. But as you said, you wouldn't trust Party to take a penalty. I would, I would, above most of these geezers. What I'm saying is, if you don't trust him to play football, why would you trust him to take a penalty? That was exactly my words. And not me again. I would trust him to do anything he likes. His name is right, Thomas so Hull. five minutes played. It is still Arsenal 1, Porto nil on the night. One all on aggregate. Saka with a chance to possibly score, but it was blocked. And so once again, whoever scores the next goal will win the tie. Will it be Porto to tie things up at the Emirates to win 2-1 on aggregate? Or will it be Arsenal to build a two-goal lead and seal the tie 2-1 on aggregate? We shall find out. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that I do not want to see this game go to penalties. But I do not want to see Arsenal lose this game in extra time either. Fuck me, man. And uh, maybe there's some wisdom in bringing Zinchenko on because he is passing very well. But he has to be careful because he can be caught out. Gonzalo Borges is quite quick. Zeki Rice hoping to find Jesus. <laughs> and Pepe that sends it out for him. At least. That made me smile at least, didn't it? If you're going to take the piss, at least do it properly. I like that. You know, so basically, have, man, we, let me talk to you. Get the zoot in your, Manny, you get the zoo in your hand. I talk like you. Lovely. I like it. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, well, I'll say it was yeah. uh, Saka to save him. Port have been better over the two legs. I say their yep. manager is better over two legs. Yeah. Name me one. Name me one of them players. But obviously, you're going to pay a hundred mil for right now, like Declan Rice. No. I like Galena. I really do. I like him I too, think... bros. But he's not backing winning us the Champions League next year. Super class well, tie. At this particular rate, if we go out... No one fucking the players are super class tie. And I promise you, every single Greek geezer that I know fucking properly enjoyed Olympiakos Arsenal. They said it was thrilling. Right to the fucking last fucking throw. What's your point? Brilliant. Uh, well, and Ketia has the ball. He passes it back to Jesus. And uh, that will be a Porto throw from the looks of it. Yep, it's a Porto throw. And Arteta doesn't like the decision. But listen, we can see that it didn't completely go out of play until an Arsenal player put it out of play. Mikel, you need to calm down. You're already on a booking. Behave, son. Behave. Bro, send him away. Send him off. What the fuck? fuck, off. fuck away. Jorge Sanchez, not quite able to keep his composure, but eventually sends it out to Otavio, who now has to try and clear it away, oh left-footed. Exactly. Not very elegantly, but he escapes the clutches of Ben White. However, the referee um, blows the whistle for an infringement by Galeno, and that will be an arm. You're a little bit arterial right? shit now. Sorry. Go on, man. I'm just talking to you. Yeah, all those people who predicted a heavy scoreline, I mean, I you need to... I fucking you... didn't. Neither, not you, before... you, not me. We spoke before the stream, bro. Before we went live, we spoke. I told you every fucking feeling I had, and it was a fuck you. Not to you, yeah. it was a fuck you to the game. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Stop me for I'll crack you in your jaw as well. Sorry, yeah. I'll start Inchenko on Dogan. sending it forward. And a very unfortunate slip by Enketia, and Porto can have the ball. Gonzalo Borges. Does he get past... Doesn't get past Saliba, the Jesus, but... Uh, Yep, I want to get the to and I want to fucking miss it. How's that? There you go. Arsenal fucking channel here. Fuck, bros, don't make him take it because I'm only going to aim at the little cunt when he misses. So there you go. They'll say I'm racist or something. They'll say something, bros, because I'm only going to call him a big cunt when he misses. So it was away. Odegaard, Saka and Trossard who took the penalties last time around. Trossard has been subbed off. So uh, Zinni has given a call 
no way and given the foul away and lost the ball in five minutes. Well, a free kick has been conceded. Not so much as Zinchenko's fault, but we're going to find out what happens over here. It looks as though it's Pepe who'll be taking this free kick. Just inside the Arsenal half. Could be uh, hoping to send it forward and uh, not very well controlled by Taremi, but he gets control of the ball eventually and uh, hoping to find his teammate in the penalty area. No foul, says the referee, so Porto still have the ball. Wendell now has it, the number 18. Back to number 13, Galeno, who, who well, no, well, keeps the ball. A slip there. And the deflection sends it on its way to Raya. We don't deserve to go through. Up there, up there, go on. And a foul on Havertz there by Grich, and that will be an Arsenal free kick. Coming up to five minutes left in the second half of extra time. It is one all on aggregate. Arsenal needing 1 0 on the night, but Porto, we're having won the first leg 1 0 at the Estadio do Dragao. And once again, people, ladies, gentlemen, whoever scores the next goal will win the tie. I do not want to see this go to penalties. By the way, how do you feel about the away goals rule being abolished? Um. I haven't thought about it. See, it's burnt me in the past. Arsenal have been beat 3-3. And I remember as a kid really struggling to go to sleep, thinking that we got beat 3-3. It gave me yeah. nightmares. It was like a crime watch. It literally, like, I had to call the police. Oh, but yeah. then you grow up and you realise, I don't know, like... Um... Speaking of crime watch, rest in peace, Jill Zando. We miss your beautiful soul on this, sir. Go ahead. And now Kai Havertz goes into the book. Needless push there on Aquino, sending him tumbling. Bro, oh, man, I, I told my mum I couldn't go sleep to school the next day, bro. I told her straight to her face, and I'm not going to school. Yeah. And it's like, why? Oh, because oh, the ironic free thing free. is that had that away goal drill not free, free. Yeah. I'm not going to school. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, had that away goals rule not been established, we would have beaten Sporting Lisbon and gone through. Bruvs, the, the fucking crowd, they want to be at home right now, eating their prawn sandwiches, bruvs. This fucking past their bedtime. Don't worry about the crowd, what the crowd are doing. I can hear them from here. They're bored. They, um, the crowd, the, this match needs a goal. These next three in a, three minutes plus stoppages need a goal. Who will provide it, though? Yodo Costa sending it long, hoping to find Jesus. Instead, headed back into the Arsenal half. And headed out for a Porto throw. <laughs> I have to laugh at this bastard Nick. <laughs> Everyone laugh. I have to admit, yes, bros, I do. But when you're victorious, losing it and it's really shit. I remember Sampdoria, David Seaman. 3 2 at Ivory. 3 2 to them bastards out there. Attilio fucking long fucking bardo. I love a penalty shootout when it works out like that. Even better than that, Miguel Nadal. At Wembley. Who? Spain. Euros. 96. No, no. My, my thing, well, I couldn't give a fuck. I'm not patriotic. I don't like England. I don't like Spain. I like Arsenal. This, I don't give a fuck about Nadal. Bollocks. Sorry. Rapper Nadal's that. uncle. <laughs> and I adore both of them. What a coincidence. Still. Two minutes left in extra still time. Still fucking Stoppages both. to be added. Oh, fuck me as well, bro. He's I think it's fair to say... Oh, shit! Be... Sorry, I almost just deleted the stream, bro. Sorry, fuck me. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad you didn't, mate. Mate, but, so uh... am I. Imagine just before penalties, I'm like, Manny, what the fuck? We got to go look at the game. Phil, yeah, make just a, make a, your a, serve up on make Thursday. A, make a new stream just for the penalties, and, you know, the seconds <sighs> are ticking away. There will be, there, Manny. We just set there will the be stoppages ball. added. With the game needs a goal. I do not want to see this go to penalties, but it's looking the way that, like that. 
uh, is looking that way now. One goal oh, will settle this Arteta tie. The right thing. Now the game's just starting on the ref. How about starting on Arteta? Declan Rice hoping to send it forward. But uh, Diogo Costa runs and pinches that. Benny Blanco was nowhere near that. We are now into the last minute of normal time in extra time, second half. But there will be stoppages added on, and we will find out how many. Arteta is gone again just from this Thomas Party stance. Honestly. For the amount I've tried to like the geezer, a little cunt this season, yeah? He ruins it on a night like tonight when it's vital, money. Yep. And you bring on fucking... And that will be an Arsenal free kick. What about uh, Laura Mill Smith Rowe? What about Vieri, a 35 fucking million pound investment? Oh, fuck about Former Porto midfielder. I don't give a fuck if he oh, played for fucking Vieira. young boys. I don't oh, care if he played for young boys. You paid 35 mil for him. You fucking play him. Exactly. He came fuck from Portugal to play for Arsenal. And now we have officially ticked over into stoppage time at the end. And we're going to find out how many minutes are being added. No added time. Penalties it is. You absolute loco, you cunt. What are you doing? Because I swear to God. Oh, mate. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can just see Adele Boy preparing to lose it. So it will be David Raya to face the penalties. I hope he proves all of us wrong and does uh, and ends up being the hero, but I don't know if I can see it happening. By the way, let's check on the result from Barca and Napoli. I believe the Spaniards have gone through. Yep, full time from the camp now. 3-1 Napoli on the night, 4-2 on aggregate. Uh, uh, gracias y uh, buenas noches. And uh, But wait a minute, what's going on here? Why is Raya sitting on the bench? Oh, no, he's just having a discussion with the goalkeeping coach about the penalties. Ramsdale hasn't taken off his uh, training uniform. Diego Costa's now sitting down with the Porto goalkeeping coach to talk about the penalties. And uh, really a case of who dares wins. But uh, as soon as this gets over, I'm going to find out if Del Boy is doing his stream tonight. If he is, then I'm going to have to hop off Immediately. This is bollocks. I can't believe we're in a penalty shootout. With the sadly, mic. Sadly, I can. Sadly, I can. Local because, get out of my face. Time. Because once again, once again in Europe, um, Arteta shows that he really is clueless. I've come and done a good job here today. Yeah, shit. Ah, well, the news is that Del Boy isn't doing a call-in show tonight. I think it's gone a bit too late. So uh, it looks as though we will stay on after penalties to digest everything, have our own little rants. And uh, he'll this probably want to... Wow, there you go. Porto keepers saved the last three penalties. Oh, boy. Chloe, I'm as nervous as that stadium. I can't even hear a thing now. Even the fucking Porto fans have gone quiet. Bollocks. So, David Raya against Diogo Costa. Spain's reserve goalkeeper against Portugal's current number one. Everyone wishing Diogo Costa nothing but the best. They believe that he can rise to the challenge. Odegaard and Pepe standing in the middle. And credit to Pepe, 41 years old and still able to play for 120 minutes in a crunch European tie. The man is made of steel. 
and he's still playing for the Portuguese national team. So it looks as though Odegaard has won the toss and he's chosen the uh, left side of the uh, TV screen from where... All right, Manny, this is going to be all fucked up because I'm going to hear all the penalties, bro. This is all going to be fucked up. So let me run through these comments. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who's taking the penalties and you can tell me the results, if you can. Mate, I'm going to be out of Well, they're eating sandwiches, prawn eating, prawn ones, but I'm going to hear it. And finally, the Arsenal fans find their voice. Arsenal, Arsenal. You know, yeah. last um, last year when we got knocked out, I was on a watch along with my friend Hanno from the Coach's Corner. Shout out to him, by the way. And uh, I was watching the penalties intently. He was preparing the banners and he was celebrating like mad when Arsenal went out. Oh, shit. He's a Chelsea fan, you see. They're giving him a song now. They're fucking giving it this Arteta song. Sweet, get through in it and fucking Arteta. But local, go away, mate. It's not the same. Local, up here, mate. Go. I'll tell go. you what, you know, whatever happens, I think we can safely say that we will not be winning the Champions League. No chance. Hey, John, to the drama. Uh, go away, then. It's time for Arsenal's fans mm. to get behind David Ray up. Aaron Ramsdale is history. It will be Martin Odegaard to take the first kick. The Norwegian captain up against the Portuguese current number one. For fuck's sake. Come on, Arsenal, for fuck about sake. Fucking FC fucking Porto, man. <coughs> Diego Costa looking intently. Yes! There you go! Fucking there's fucking one! Fucking have it! Fuck around! So well, what you, yeah? yeah, what do you expect? It's Odegaard, a smart <laughs> penalty taker. <laughs> always knows where <laughs> to take the penalty. <laughs> Fuck you know up what? He sent Diego Costa the wrong way, hit it to the keeper's left, the keeper dived to his right. But even if he had dived the right way, he was not getting that. Pepe Aquino to take um, Porto's first penalty. The number 11 up against number 22. He's certainly been uh, a live wire tonight. I just wonder if... And he's sustained a few injuries I as live well. outside the stadium, mate. Of course I'm a fucking idiot. David Rea. The Bro, Porto fans are nervous. I'm not I'll too sure. I'll say he's missed it. Shush, he's missed it. He's missed it. He's missed it. I can hear nothing. Shush. He's missed it. No, he well, hasn't. He's, he's, a long scored. Time he's scored. He's scored. It's 1-1 one, one Porto. So I'll tell you what. You do the Arsenal penalties. I do the Porto. Yeah, yeah. You know it, innit? Can't tell with them little bastards. David Ray are also going the wrong way. Kai Havertz stepping up. 60 million down the drain. Can Kai Havertz be the hero again? Actually, it's closer to 70 million, really. Mate, it's gone really silent. I'm scared. Yes! Fuck you! There you fucking have it! Mate, I can hear a pin drop right there. Fucking have it, Arsenal! Fucking have it! Tell them, loco! And once again, Diego Costa diving to his right, but Havertz placing it to his left. The far left, placed in such a way that not even Costa would have gotten to that, even if he had dived the right way. But um, so far, all... All three penalties have seen the goalkeepers go the wrong way. Caressing that, really. Sending Costa to his right. Placing that to the goalkeeper's left. And uh, who's taking this penalty now? It is the number yes! 18. Yes! He fucking saved it! He fucking saved it! I'm telling you, wait, he saved wait, it! Wait, 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 wait. He fucking wait. saved no, it! I did it fucking wrong! Remember the deal! Wait, remember the deal. Let's see what happens Fuck here. the deal! It's he onto the post. Saved he it. saved it. He's uh, it's onto the post. He has indeed saved it. <laughs> the from there, Inshallah! Yeah. <laughs> he 
You go, let me go speak to the boys at your window. Fuck off, Loco, you piece of shit. Yeah, oh, not the best so penalty good. from Wells there, Wendell. Fuck not exactly. Fuck him well, he, he was lucky, Ray, actually. I don't think he saved it. Yeah. It, it actually uh. went off the post, and it could have gone in off his legs. Ray is a lucky lad. Bukayo Saka. He missed the penalty famously. Yeah, he fucking did a fucking, fucking miss this fucking one, didn't he? Ah, loco! Fucking loco, you big cunt! You big cunt, loco! Shit, camera's got up the loco, go away from me. Wonderful. Him. Past uh, Diego Costa before he could even blink. Loco, you've just almost bit my eye. Come here. I'll help you out for that in a minute, come here. Come here. Come here. This Come could be our here. night. You fucking this... tell them, Loco! You fucking tell them, boy! This could be our night. This could be our night. We are 3 1 up. If uh, oh, Rich misses this penalty, scored. the next penalty we score will send us through. A substitute, Gruich. Up against Raya. Well, I think Ray got a th got some fingertips to it, but couldn't prevent it from going in. So Porto is still in it, which means that this next penalty we have to score. Who is it, Manny? He hesitated a little bit, and Who uh, is it, Manny? I think Ray did get his fingertips to it, but this time he Who couldn't prevent it, it from going inside. I'll find out and tell you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Decky, Uncle Ben, Tilda. Yes, fuck it. You fucking Tilda! You fucking cook that rice boy! He fucking cooked! You fucking low toe cunt! Get up there! Get up there on that chair! Get away from me. Costa diving to his left, rice placing it to the right. Yeah. Costa that. has been clueless so that far with regards to the penalty. That the fucking penalties. Dickens. But the penalties we've taken have been magnificent so far. And so, if Rea saves this next penalty, or Porto misses miss this, we are through to the quarterfinals. And it is Wenderson Galeno who won the first leg with that last-minute goal. Rea has some chance to get some revenge on him. We're still not going to win the Champions League, but at, the, at least we're not going out of the round of 16. Don't trick to Italy in the Milan first, eh? I'm concentrating. Yes! They fucking missed it! We're fucking through! Fuck a bad low cows! You fuck a bad with me, dog! You fuck a bad! You fuck a bad with me, low cows! We fucking only went fucking won! Fuck a bad! Go on, Manny, my brother! Arsenal! Arsenal! Say it in my own time, Manny, by the way, don't worry. <laughs> There's some people on the pitch, they think it's all over. It is now. Well, I did tell you that uh, he is good at saving penalties. And that one from uh, side Ben Rama has given him confidence. <laughs> I was gonna say, so I was going to say, who? So go on. Who, who, who was it? Paul Shit grass. Who did he save that penalty from? But you've just told me it was from our It was the first well. leg winner, Wendell, Wenderson Galeno. And mm. revenge is sweet. The number 13 became unlucky for Paul. Oh, Manny, Manny. We are through. Can you hear it? Oh, what? No, I can't hear it. Music from the stadium. So, but, but listen, 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 all, 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 all the celebrations aside, let's all agree that with a display like this, we are not winning the Champions League. We're going to face better teams in the quarterfinals. And uh, Inter Milan are playing tomorrow night along with... Uh, Why do I think we're getting that off next? Which one? Inter fucking Milan. 
Some people have said that we could end up facing Manchester City in the quarters. Imagine the carnage. Yeah, I'm not really up for that, to be honest with you. But! Local, local, local. You don't have to eat your porn now, man. Shit. Oh, people then, we're fucking through. <sighs> that was hard work. Three hours in, man, I'm telling you. I've been sitting here down for like a herbal tea and a honey love. Oh, man, come on. But oh, we're through, Manny. Manny, Manny, Manny. And you know what, Aaron Ramsdale, if I were you, son, plan your next move. Your oh, future you, is over. Problem is, we want what? 42 million. Kieran Tierney, Newcastle styles, and he's going to go on loan to fucking Rangers. The reason why we look like, we don't look like we Why? Like, Tell so me I why. What do you mean? English teams won't reach hit each other. So why? Tell me why. Is that factual? Yui! The last time we faced an English team in the Champions League, it was in the semi-finals. We lost heartbreaking. I feel to fucking run about the Emirates. I can hear them going fucking nutty over there. Be a brother, you did we, man, eh? Mate, I can hear all the bollocks out the window. I reckon you get Barca, yeah? Fuck Canelo, uh, Cancelo as well. Canelo. Boxing. You look at Gundogan as well. Fuck him as well. Do you know why? Because we've got Deckers. Oh, mate. More jam than art, Lee's. Don't you come in here and fucking take the jam out of my fucking donut, mate. Don't you come and take the fucking jam out of my fucking donut. Oh, mate. It is. I know. Trossard. Have a superheroes. Fuck it, mate. It worked for today. Bollocks were thrown. Scraped it. Bollocks it. I don't care if we ball bagged it. They're all going to go nutty down there now. I can hear them. My group's going mad. I've got... Shit, money. I've got 101 messages on WhatsApp. <laughs> 101 already. Fucking shit. Yeah. Uh, and I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. At least now, this could be a sign of good fortune. Out in the second round last year of the Europa, lost the league. This time we're into the quarterfinals. We went one better. Could this be important? I hope so. There you go. And it is a free-for-all. It's a free-for-all, like we were saying, Manny. So I'm go I think we're getting into Milan for some reason. And I think we're on our way to Italy for the first leg. Just, just chatting to my friend, the Brentford fan, saying thank you for David Rea. Still not winning the Champions League, but this could be a good sign going forward. Fuck me, it's noisy. I know it's noisy down there in a minute. Wow. They're fucking getting the champagne open, you can what I mean, eh? Fuck. I don't know what he's saying, but... Hey! Don't know what the kind of answer. there. Hold on. He's talking on the bollocks again, he's on a tannoy. Thank you to the Emirates, blah, blah, blah. And good night. And basically get the fuck out of the ground. You know good prawn eating sandwich cunts. Now fuck yeah, up! But you know what? One thing which I can bet you right now is that those idiots from AFTV are going to say that this is a sign that we have buffle and we could go all the way. Seriously, those guys are the reason why we are an absolute joke. There you go. But... Listen, you've got to be in it to win it. I'd rather be in it, obviously, like you would be. I'm just saying, listen, bottom line here, motherfucker, is not motherfucker. <laughs> bottom line is, we're through. Like, I'll study the draw later, because I already had my little fucking mental health situation about Porto. Um, yep. See who's available. I don't know. There's no coping. Is it, who, who's left, Manny, man? Fuck me. There's got to be someone for us. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let me see. Um, the team's already qualified, if I can just uh, memorise them off the top Fuck of my head. this as well. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain, uh, 
And who who the hell else? Listen, where's my fucking phone? Right. Champions League draw. I found this on the web. Good job. Well done. I know Real and uh, Real Madrid and uh, Manchester City qualified. Uh, yeah, uh, Paris Saint Germain, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, um, Manchester City. Now Arsenal and Barcelona. So whoever's left will be either Inter Milan or Atletico Madrid, and it will be PSV Eindhoven or Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund. Fuck me. There what literally happened? wasn't an easy team in that seven that seven team list was there. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So preference wise, what would you be going for, Manny? <clears throat> Ooh. Tough question. I'm probably gonna have to wait until um tomorrow's ties get over before I'll answer your question. I'll tell you who I'd prefer uh on WhatsApp, but uh I'll tell you what, listen, we have to be honest and say that, you know, the way things uh, transpired, I did um, predict that it would go to penalties and we would sneak you through. Did, you but, did, um, me, but I got the scoreline wrong. I said it would be 2-1 on the night, 2-2 on aggregate. I was I mean, basically, it definitely ain't through, but I don't know. I just, Atletico haven't Im impressed me any time I've seen them this season. And so. Atletico, I, Atletico, I think, have started to fall, drop off a bit. I think we're seeing the likes of... Uh, O Black and Morata starting to lose a little bit of motivation. Simeone yep. is also losing motivation. Maybe he needs a new challenge. They fucked off a decent little strike and it cost 107 million. See, do you know what it is? I don't like them little Arteta moves, mate. If you go and spend 107 million quid on someone, then you want to fuck him off to Chelsea, Barca, anything just because you don't like him. And I've got this same kind of problem with Simeone, basically. Right. Bollocks is Morata better than fucking Felix. But anyway. It's yep. not our problem. Yeah. But anyway, I think we need to accept that the way we performed tonight, uh, apart from the Trossard goal, we never really forced Diogo Costa into making a single save. But never. And uh, several people are predicting that we're going to be creamed in the next round. So we're not going to win the Champions League. But as I said before, last season, we went out in the round of 16, lost the league. This time we we've gone through the round of 16 into the quarterfinals. Could we win the league? I genuinely hope so. But uh, again, there's a part of me that's hopeful, a part of me that's more realistic and saying that if we cannot, you know, well, raise Daniel our game. He hasn't been in the stream today yet, but he did say something. I, and when, I, when I went away and thought about it that night, I was like, do you know what? That's actually right. He was like, do you know what, Dan? Rather than, I know it sounds stupid, but rather than being eight points ahead, maybe it suits us where we are right now. And we have to keep the momentum going. But then again, the way I see it is we've got a way to Tottenham, a way to Man United. We've got Chelsea. We've got Man City. Man City away at the Etihad, don't forget. Also, Aston Definitely. Villa at home. Villa are starting to fall away a little bit, but uh, yeah, they're still won. a tough opponent. Yeah, I might do a wee bit of Scotland. You can, what I mean, eh? It takes place on Friday, the March the 15th. <sighs> Three days time, fuck me. You'll be fucking up all night on Thursday, getting your fucking hidden here. Eh? Do you care what I mean, eh? Train spotting. Nice from here. Oh. <sighs> fuck. Well, me. we've already got some people saying that we shouldn't have had to let it go to penalties to beat this team. And uh, Northside, of course, will have his rant at um, uh, half past uh, eleven UK time. Yep, and uh, I don't think it's going to have a call in reaction, show. But who knows? I definitely need a wee something to eat, and then yeah, I'm thinking of a wee re a wee reaction here because um, yeah, we're not a Champions League team usually, so fuck it. It's nice. <laughs> it's fucking nice, and I can hear it bubbling off over there, so it's even better. The fucking loose loose about this. Where am I after on this box now? What do I want to watch now? More Arsenal. It was beautiful. <laughs> Let's watch it all over again and study it without listening to the crowd fucking 
basically telling me what's going to happen, Manny, you're a fucking superstar. What's your daughter, Manny? I don't know, like, fucking tell me, like, what's your daughter? Who, who, who's your fancy daughter? Yeah, Oscar, Ooh, I'm just Manny. speechless after tonight. At least oh. I know that my friend Hanno won't give me stick. And tomorrow I will, of course, be doing another Champions League watch along, this time for most probably Inter right, Milan right. against Atletico Madrid. Who's tomorrow? Atletico Inter. And who? PSV and Borussia Dortmund. I'll probably be doing a watch along for that. Uh, do please uh, hop on to the coach's corner. You can leave some comments. I know AFC always comes on there quite frequently and a few others. So um, that's pretty much it. And I'm glad that I won't be getting any stick from him. Although, <laughs> you know what? There are some people who are going to give us stick saying you shouldn't have had to, to have to let it go to penalties to beat this lot. And I know that Northside will not be a very happy chappy. Some people will be saying, why did it go to penalties? Others will be saying, I don't care. We are through. And that's the thing. Look. Neither Danny I so, nor yeah. I. Are... I'm down with that as well. Fuck it, we're through. Yeah, I'm not yeah, delighted. Exactly, of it. we, we are through. Shit, but... Yeah, but we we need to accept oh, though that we're gonna we're gonna come up against better teams now because it's it's effectively the cream that's rising to the crop, the crop rising to the top really. And uh, yeah, you, you know, go. can we can we even pretend based on this performance tonight that we have enough to um, beat uh, the bigger teams that are going to come our way? Because let me tell you something, Porto didn't have their shooting boots on tonight. And other teams, they're going to murder us. I know Real Madrid had to huff and puff to get through um, Red Bull Leipzig, but... Uh... They fucking certainly did. I don't know, like, Borussia, like, I don't know, pan for pan, shouldn't we be kicking the shit out of Borussia? But I don't know. I don't want to say we're going to beat Borussia and everything and blah, 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 but... A uh, huge subplot, Borussia. of course, Jaden Sancho coming up against us. Manchester United against Arsenal in the way. Huh. I don't know, I'm trying to think of who else in that draw that I'm thinking. Oh, 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 can I go to bed tonight thinking, yeah, fuck it, we'll have them. Well, I suppose we're not going to know until Friday, are we? As bad as Probably Bayern Munich are, they're going to they're gonna base it. They, they could also slap us up, I'm sure of it. What's that? As bad as Bayern Munich are, I know they're going to slap us up too. And the 10-2 scoreline is still uh, very fresh in our memory. 5-1, home and away. Oh, are, they, are them fuckers even through? They're not even through, are they? Are they through? Yeah, they beat Lazio. Oh, fuck me. Of course they did, yeah. They lost to Lazio 1-0 in Rome, but they beat them 3-1 in aggregate. Oh, God. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah of course they are. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, so that's the thing. PSG, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid... Uh, who was who the hell was the other team, man? Manchester City. How can I forget them? Now Arsenal and Barcelona. So two ties to decide the quarterfinal lineups tomorrow. I don't know when the draw will be made. But Friday. again, of course Yeah, and this weekend, of course, it'll be FA Cup, no Arsenal involvement. Do I know Danny's box? Who knows, mate? And one PM on the fifteenth. Shouts out to UPR. Nice one. I might have to go live, today, you know that, at the live Champions League draw. That should be fun. Hey, fucking sorry. That should will be, be uh, 6 o'clock or 6.30 my time, so. Jump in, my brother, if you want. If you want a piece of it, we'll be so far behind you. I'll be either screaming or you, but I guess what, yeah. But yeah, have it. Yeah, so. but I mean, the draw, uh, I don't even know if they're televising the draw over in my neck of the woods, but maybe they are, and then we'll find out. But, um, it is now the best part of 4.30 my time. I need to sleep. I didn't want this to go to penalties for the sake of my health, but uh, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, anyway, yeah. anyway, let me, just, let me just say before I leave once again, big up, to, big up, much love to everyone in the chat. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. To all the newcomers who've joined in, do like the video, do subscribe if you're new. Thanks very much indeed to Danny for letting me on. And the best oh, part is mate. that we will be back again when we play in the quarterfinals. That's and it. I'm looking forward to that, definitely, whoever we play. Of course, as I've said, we are not going to win the Champions League. But I tell you what, you know, you know that song from the life of Brian? 
look on the bright side of life. At the moment, this uh, this uh, particular CL campaign might be a piece. Bro, of Europa crap. League final is in Ireland. Fucking Champions League final is in fuck at uh, fucking Wembley. I don't know. Dare I say I fancy a fucking bit of it, but yeah, let's just see who we get next. I don't know. I, I we, have like we have to. We have to. We have to. We have to. But until then. Until we meet again, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, teaming up with Danny again for Champions League football. But until then, this is me saying good night. God bless to all of you. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you again soon. Danny, brother, always Danny. a pleasure. Brother, you take care, a pleasure. You take care of yourself. One last thing. If yep. I'm up early enough on Friday, I'll give you a shout via the WhatsApp and just see where you are just before the draw, innit? Regardless of whatever time it is where you are, yeah? Manny, yeah, mate, listen, love. you know that I'm I'm five and a half hours ahead of you, so it'll be about six o'clock. I said it, it'll be six o'clock or six oh, thirty in the evening my time. That's not too bad. Um, That's not too I will bad. tell you if I'm available. If I'm not, I'll probably be at the gym. So you can you can hold the fort for me anyway. But take yeah. that back an hour. We're seeing it's twelve p.m. as well. I can't trust Peter on this, so yeah. I'm trusting. Oh, him. okay. <clears> yeah, well, the draw shouldn't take too long. It may get over in about an hour top. So. We'll see what happens. But Danny, you take care of yourself, mate. And bye bye. having a flu is no joke. I've had the flu one or a few times. I was also in the hospital for COVID not too long ago. It is never sure. nice. You know, your health is the most important thing. No, and no, it no, is no, no. Do you see me? Do you see it's all fucking freezing out here? I go out in these little Adidas Arsenal tops and I think it's sweet. <laughs> I just got yeah. blitz last night. I went out and got exposed. At like, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Just, just, just be thankful you're not in America because I remember uh, reading a headline that said a few fans of an American football game had to have their fingers and toes amputated because of exposure to frostbite. Jesus Christ. Yeah, wasn't that bad? Yeah. But, mate, I felt like everything was about to fall off. But on that yeah. note, man. Do sleep well, Manny. Oh, as they'll say in crime shop, isn't it? Don't have nightmares. Do sleep well, innit? We're through. No Peace nightmares. Out. I am happy. I can I can watch that David Reyes say from Galeno all day. Revenge is a dish best served ice cold. Most definitely, Peace my friend. Peace out, people. And I'm going to watch it as well. I'll be watching it back. I'll absorb the whole game later anyway. Peace out, Manny. Peace. Though. Much love to you. Respect, innit? See you, at the, see you for the quarterfinal, my friend. Cheers, mate. And Thank yes. you. Good night. God bless. And people then fuck me. It has been one fuck of a long stream. You got Loco running about the place. He doesn't know if he's coming or fucking going. So I'm going to go take him for a walk. Think about what the fuck I'm going to eat out here. I can't be bothered cooking now. I don't know. Ivory's going to be jammed. But you love it. Ah, you wait a minute before I answer the phone to you. Oh, people, it's been emotional. I'm almost out of wind, like, fuck me. <clears throat> Who do you fancy in the next round, people, then? Who do you genuinely fancy in the next round? There's seven bastards there. Well, quite, quite obviously. Would PSG be fucking easy, Ambrosio? I don't know. I'm going to look at it all later. I'm going to watch the Arsenal game back. It's hard when you're on a watch along and you've got many a minute ahead of you, but fucking I can hear everything so I'm right outside the fucking stadium. So love and respect to Manny is it's mad when we do a little watch along, especially on an away game, you must fucking love it because that's it, he's in fucking that's it. It's Manny time because like yeah, I don't know what's going on. You'll be about a minute ahead of me as usual. But um when the fucking Emirates will fuck me. I'm seeing it glowing now, guys, glowing. Emirates Stadium there, Emirates Stadium there, north, south, east. What? I just dropped my seat on the floor. Look up, don't think about it, because I would fuck you up. I'm going to take you out in a minute, man. Come, just sit down, relax. Watch along, don't just sit, 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 No, 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 back up, back up. Right. This is what we do here. These little fuckers are still in the stadium, I'm telling you. Go on, Loco, you fucking tell them. But yeah, guys, it's been emotional. You is, it's been more than emotional. Fuck me. I'm trying to think who I want in the next round. Borussia, in a PSG, Real Madrid, Man City, Bayern Munich. Let's do that again. Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Man City. PSG. Borussia and Inter, I reckon. Let's see, I'm guessing. 
we shall see tomorrow, I suppose. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm live. In the last 10 minutes. There you go, mate. There you fucking go. There you go. Yui, what's your final thoughts, man? I'm going to go eat. What the time is it, man? No takeaways in a bring me nine. P.S. We are Dortmund. We know be nice. This is what I'm thinking. I keep thinking we're going to Italy, man. Enter, but yeah. I'm going to go deal with them, dog. People, them love. Peace out. Shouts out to all the real ones. Please hit the likes on the fucking video. Do be subscribing if we is new. We are through. It sounds beautiful, isn't it? It sounds fucking perfect. Uh, Earl Zero tonight. Big moment for him. He shocked me. Yeah. I liked it. I'm going to watch it all back and observe. Obviously, remember, bros, it was mad. I got Manny talking. But I'm listening. My ears listening there, innit? So I need, I, in realness, I need to go watch the whole... Not that I didn't watch it, but... I'm a, I'm a minute behind, man. But I'm listening there. But in fact, I'm a minute ahead of him. And then when he sees it, I'm a minute behind him. Like, it's all fucking... So... Venga, 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 Venga. In Venga, we trust, rude boy. I don't give a fuck if the LTA don't like it. But yeah, Barca, yeah? March done. Arsenal of March done. It's all going to get political in the quarters, guys. I can see it. You're going to people like Lee Akers wanting to reach out to Terminal 3 or Terminal 4. Is it going to be Spain, Germany, Italy? Or which kind? We're going to be bare back in tonight and we'll go out there and bare back tonight. Where's my keeper? Craig's fucking having it. That there is Schmeichel. That there is Seaman. Craig's put his fucking stamp of approval over it. I'm still not going that far. But I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in. I'm starving, so I'm going to go. No, he wasn't good, bro. We need party. Bro, he don't like party. Bro, if you're telling me... So, hold on. Party's been on the bench for how many games now? Is anyone going to straight... Look at me in the face and tell me he's on fit life. Fuck off. <laughs> Extra time. Come on, man. Have it. Those times have it. Then look like you only puff left. But yeah, pie is obviously just a fucking your average fucking football, isn't it? What can I say? And I think man's taking the piss, but um, I've just realised, Craig, you're a real one. Because that's exactly what I'm actually deep down thinking. Fuck it. Bring on Madrid. Bring on Barcelona. Do you know why? Because we've got Spain's number seven in goal. But I'm loving it. Fuck it. Spain's number seven can still do a job. Fuck it. I actually really fucking feel sorry for a Mel Smith throw. Not even when the game goes. He, he can't even get 30 seconds, the poor little cunt. Poor little bastard. Thomas Party, he must be just praying to the Lord, and I think he has he has converted to Muslim uh, to Islam, isn't it? So he's praying to Allah to get the fuck out of Arsenal and real quick as well. It must be just boring for him sitting there just having to watch everything when he's better than man. Anyway, these sort of questions, I suppose you have to go and ask Arteta. Because I'm not no people. I'm out. Three hours, 28 minutes in. I'm fucking done. I'm going to eat, refresh, walk them. Loco! Here he comes, the big cunt. Walk them, the hook. And yeah, mate. We've got two weeks to go. Yes, Loco. I know I shouldn't call you, innit? Uh, we've got two weeks to go. Uh, got a two week break. Go to Dubai, innit? We should go to Terminal 4 and reach the buy ASAP. Because it worked last time, mind G. Because now, it's going to get grimy. We've got eight games left in the league. Whatever left in the Champions League. So let's see what happens, my G. But please, keep it Danny AFC TV while I walk them dog. Let me roll up a bigger zoo to walk them dog. Guys, peace out. We are through. Quarterfinal, on it? I'm setting the stream.
Arsenal versus whoever. Champions League final. Peace out, people. Good night, innit? Brap. <laughs>